Thank you, friends, for bearing, bearing with us for, you know, 15, yeah. Uh, we may or may not have started on time, but it might have been for just me. <laughs> we're trying. I'm, we're trying. I'm trying to you share know, it right now. First time. Yeah, it's our first time, and we're trying to share it for everyone to see, and uh, we're doing our bestest. Um, and as we're getting it sorted, just a little bit of background of who we are and um, why this all started. I had this idea a couple months ago to start something similar to this of watching videos and talking with friends because so many of us meet people from all over the world and we talk all the time online, but we don't really see each other ever. So it's really fun to do something like this and then we all ended up being stuck in our houses. And <laughs> so it became more of a reality thing uh, this last week. And I was like, heck, let's do it. Yeah, so you hit me up about this before. And you were like, I think I'm going to do like a podcast or some sort yes. of chat thing. And, it, and I was like, that sounds awesome. But like, what, like, don't we need to be in person? Like, don't we need to be in the same <laughs> place? Like, and, and now I'm like, oh my gosh, this like, you know, you don't have to at all. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, national international like everybody be a part of it which is like the goal you know especially like during these times where we can't see each other face to face there's like what like a handful of events respectfully during the year where we get to see each other mm -hmm. and it's amazing but it's <laughs> also not enough <laughs> yeah so it's cool so i'm super pumped i'm super pumped that everybody's here and coming in and ooh Clean bearings, yeah, that's a good thing to do. Um, so we're gonna just go around and do introductions uh, of everybody. Um, I'm Boom Skis, if you wanna call me that, but I go by Boom. Um, and yeah, I skate <laughs> and I really don't like introductions. I guess the biggest part is that I really like street skating. That's my favorite thing. Um, and I also play roller derby for Gotham Girls. So yeah, that's about me. So drama, do you wanna? Talk about yourself. <laughs> hey, I'm Drama Mama. Um, I'm a mom. <laughs> <laughs> of skating, uh, sometimes being a mom, I can't really find the time. So my husband always like build me ramp in my backyard, and I got a little surprise here today that I'm sitting on that he built me. Um, but I. I'm horrible at rails and I really want to practice rails this year. So that's a goal of mine. And um, I identify as she and her. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Skate witch. Smack mamba. Oh, okay. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Depending on who you ask and yeah. what day of the week it is. <laughs> yeah. I'm Skate Witch. Um, I'm from Richmond, Virginia, and I am both a park skater and a derby skater. Um, I play for River City Roller Derby and one of the assistant coaches as well. Um, I mainly like to skate pools and like really crusty bowls for the most part. Um, and a like really nice skate park too, but I like to think I'm a pretty versatile skater. I skate a little bit of vert. Um, I'm trying to get into street, but I'm not very good at it. <laughs> That's what I got. <laughs> Are we going in a uh, circle? Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> <and she heard. laughs> good question. Good question. <laughs> Go for it. Um, what's up, y'all? I'm Indy. Uh, I go by she or her, and I really enjoy skating. My favorite kind of skating is just cruising bowls. Like, not big, big, scary ones, but like a solid medium size bowl and just like cruising around. That's my absolute favorite. Oh, and skating cities, like exploring cities, not like street skating, like, oh, let me go down this handrail, but like, I just got into this new place. Let me put my skates on to go where I got to go and see what it's like here. Um, yeah, and I'm pumped to, to be on this. Thanks for setting it up, Boom. <laughs> yeah. I'm nice. glad. Cool. Well, my name's Kiana. Um, I forgot everything that we were supposed to introduce, but um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> The type of skating that I like is mostly bull skating. Um, there's a variety that comes with that, obviously, because my home park is the flow bowl that I skate in. It involves, like, a bunch of different attributes that are kind of, like, uh, spine and, like, big coping. And it's a little weird, but 
Um, I like big bowls, small bowls, all bowls. Um, <laughs> and my pronouns are they, them. Yeah. Non discriminatory about bowls. Bowls yeah. are fun. I like <laughs> yeah, I like them all. I like bowls. Bowls. <laughs> big, big bowls, small bowls. I, we have, side note, one of the tiniest little peanut baby bowls here in Brooklyn. <laughs> um, and you got to see it because it's so small. But speaking of bowls, we should totes try and show some people some sweet footage. So I'm going to share a video of my one of my favorite skaters, which is Duke Reaney. Yeah. And um, share some of him shredding, shredding some bowls. <laughs> and we'll talk about it here. I know, right? Very exciting. So let's see here. Do there you are, and share audio so we can listen to the sweet background music. I've got the comments up, by the way. If um, I don't know if anyone's looking, but in case yeah. people ask us questions and stuff, look at this. That music is classic too. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. So, so we do uh, where this bull was. I don't think it exists anymore. I show um, skate clips a couple times a year at, um, oh no. no sorry. But yeah, we do um, a local bar here lets us do skate clip nights for the quad skaters. Um, and so I've put together their playlist and like, I try to slip in like old footage of like Duke and Fred and stuff just to be like, hey, we do all this really awesome skating now, but like, we also really appreciate like all this. And yeah. So Amazing. this thing is dope. I mean, from what I read, he so he did a really big article in the Yeah book, uh, the Dog, Day, Dog Days magazine Yeah, yeah book. Mm -hmm. And um, he talked about how there was all of these places to skate in like the mid yeah. to late 70s. And then like in the, there was like this lull in time in like the 80s where like they legitimately destroyed a lot of these skating places. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like so actually I, Tony Hawk mentions that like when there was a big lull like in his career, he actually used to go because it was like right when like for skateboarding when blading was like kind of taken off for a second. So he would like go to blading events and compete as a skateboarder, or, like perform or something, which is yep. really random. I can't remember where I saw that, but I was surprised by that. But yeah, I wonder if it was like at the same time as what they're talking about. I, I wouldn't be too surprised, honestly, because I mean it what he said was like they just were skating in everyone's backyard if they had, and, and that's where like the whole drain your pools kind of thing came from because there wasn't, there was literally nothing else to skate, yeah. which is kind of crazy the, uh, that mean? these did oh, exist yeah. and then, you know, what happened? Like, we're parts Can you imagine Mark, if like, they had like Google Maps or drones back then where they could have been like, like looking at, oh my gosh, that was Yeah, <laughs> like all these things that we have now to find it. Okay, I want to watch this one more time. Look at <laughs> the, oh. I love how they like drop in. Oh my god, oh, so it's so nice. glorious. Do y'all skate side stance? Uh, my yeah. hips don't flex that well. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried. I can't and, uh, do failed. it. Um, can't do it as far as like a drop in, but there's like a pretty easy lateral move that some skaters can do, where you just approach the bowl straight on and then you just open up and kind of like T push. If you know what a T push is so that yeah. you can like laterally slide across the wall. Um, and I'm, I've been trying to like learn how to do it a little bit quicker in like curves and stuff just to like do alley-oops out of, but nothing, nothing like this. <laughs> right. I mean, I skate with Irene so much and she's yeah. so incredible. And actually funny, funny story. The first time that I ever met Irene, first of all, I didn't know like, Irene, <laughs> it was like literally the first time meeting her. Mm -hmm. And I remember seeing her skating side stance. Um, I was gonna switch to a different uh, video here really quick. So meanwhile, I'm gonna do that. Um, and I, w I saw her skate side stance and I thought it was so cool. I was like, oh my God, uh, this is amazing. And I really, really, really wanna give this a go. And so I didn't know, cause coming from roller derby, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know like what the thing was about, um, like sharing skills and things like that. So like I literally asked politely like, hey, is it cool if I like, you know, try that like side skating thing you're doing? And she's like, oh yeah, absolutely, you know? Um, yeah. And, 
But I so Molly is asking if most and all quad skaters did this at the time. And in the Yeah book, there's actually a an interview with between Leon and Duke. And I believe Duke is says, says, Well, if you're doing it wrong, you need to start over and learn how to do it this way. <laughs> or something along those lines. But yeah, this is a very purist thing, and a lot of people think that. The reason that quad skaters in parks have gone from being side stance to straightforward actually has to do with the influx of inline culture in the 90s. And it kind of has changed like the natural like stance of people. But that's, I don't know if you could never prove that, but that seems to be like a common I'm like, I don't know. idea. Like, when I put when I put my skates on, like, like my, with my gymnastics background, like straight up, I just literally want to do everything the same exact way. Like, I can't do anything yeah. sideways. I can't snowboard. I can't yeah. skateboard. The idea of my chest facing the other way, like, would never work for me. I've tried it. Yeah. Yeah. When I yeah. skate on a skateboard, I'm forward with both of my feet now, like just cruising, like hanging pen. I can't actually go sideways, like in these side because it's weird. To <laughs> that me. makes me so nervous. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like. I'm, I mean, it's valid though. It's totally oh, valid. Beautiful. Right, that the layback. That the layback. Uh, like perfect. And hold on, let's just let's just go back and enjoy that beautiful moment, shall we? Did I go too so far? I don't think Fred skates quads anymore, as far as I know, but he's actually Ugh. a BMX rider yeah. now, which is what? pretty cool. I don't know much about wow. it, but yeah. I mean, <coughs> it's absolutely incredible. And, you know, like the history, I think that that was something that I was just kind of like blown away from when I first started, is realizing this that there was so was much amazing. history about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, I've been blown away recently the more, I mean, I've, I've read and like looked at quite a bit, but just roller skating history in general is like so deep and like goes yeah. for so long, you know? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. like we literally found this magazine that was from 40 years ago, which like we were looking at it and it was really cool because it had like a, like, like some really cool products. Um, like what Kaya just released, the Skatemate thing, or it's not Skatemate, Kaya has a name for it, but it's like the plate where you just, you know, it comes yes. with the mounting hardware to mount your yes. skate, but um, in that same magazine, they had these pictures from like 1908 of these yeah. people that were performing on roller skates and they're just, it was, and like the same family still has like a group of artistic skaters to this day. Oh my god! It's gosh. insane, Jeez. the Reynolds family. That's so cool. Like that's absolutely insane. Yeah, it was in like fact, I had, you know, I thought like back then it had just like been invented or something, but it's so much older than I realized. <laughs> that, I mean like, I felt so silly, like having absolutely no idea how long it's been around. And there's a lot of cool things that everyone can like watch. And like I said, Dog Days Magazine, that yeah book, it's definitely so worth having to I have, have like- We have a bunch of those up on Planet Roller Skate Shop. We got them, we got like, I think we have like 20 or more. So if anybody's looking to get one um, in the US, it's definitely, come get it from us. <laughs> Cause we have a lot and I'm like, why aren't like, I feel like, I thought we were going to get them and they would disappear. I haven't really promoted it that well. Yeah. It's such a cool book. So yeah, yeah we have some mm -hmm. stockpiled if anybody needs some. <laughs> yeah. I don't Everyone... think they have a lot of them left on their website either. I think what they had said is they were down to like the final, like 10 original prints at least. Yeah. So, so yeah. I think we have some of the last ones left. Um, they got a tiny bit damaged on the spine and shipping. It's like literally like oh, a no. little thing that big though. It's like, you know, so we marked them, we marked them down significantly actually. So Ew, if anybody. That's good. Yeah, exactly. This yeah, guy, it's cool. it's Quad good. Skate Dad, his stuff is like phenomenal because there's so much footage I've never seen. That that's he's what been I'm sharing. saying. So if you Keeping don't follow him, you like need to follow him. Like that's yeah. why I love following Quad Skate Dad because he posts so much history of like skateboarding, of like quad skating. And I he just posted this one today. And like, look at this. Like, where is this? Like, this is great. <laughs> And oh, I've seen Irene skate that ramp, I think. Yes, and I'm sure she has. So Irene also has like a story about skating like some like clear plexiglass ramp Ooh, craziness. Yeah. That was like, there used to be a lot of cool places in New York and now it's just a, a whole bunch of skate plazas, which I clearly yeah. have feelings about, <laughs> but. Um, yeah, you should. <laughs> like, yeah. And isn't there that giant like Vans thing in New York City, but they don't let roller skaters go or? There's I'm two. I think it's like um, only a few select like, people go. Um, there's two. There's two skate parks indoor that just opened. Um, and oh, cool. um, not 
really all that cool because they're not they're exclusive to skateboarding at at least at this time and that's all Man, I'm, gonna say. I'm gonna build i'm gonna build a space <laughs> that's exclusive to roller skating so hard like that would be rad <laughs> i know that's what i'm saying i'm like dang uh, let's just build our own you know, you know i'm like I'm who do we who's got the space hand, who's like, got the money cool. let's go <laughs> oh my gosh not in la y'all i don't know how anybody does it in new york city either property yeah. is so expensive it's insane <laughs> Somebody's got to have it though. We just got to find the person. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Like on one hand, you know, when somebody has like a private thing like that and they're like skateboarders only on one hand, I'm like, not cool. Then on the other hand, I'm like, I mean, I can understand like, like, you know, I mean, like you put the, you put the effort into building this space, but still like, we're really cool. <laughs> and it's also so, a business. I mean, and like, just, just me, that's like a weird business model to have, but oh, that's also trying like a matter of, of it. If you yeah. can also get your hands in there and learn to also help build it, people are a lot more willing. Like we're working on a DIY and I've been fortunate enough to be welcomed into private skateboard spots right. because of putting in work at other spots. So and I think it's honestly, just a matter of like respecting time. their boundaries, but like, yeah. again, just showing that like you understand why they feel the way they do and then just like finding compromise in that. But yeah, I mean, it's like, just, it's, it is just a matter of putting in the work. Yeah, it's that's like Washington usually. Street in uh, San Diego is all the skateboarders have built it. So it's just skateboarders that pretty much are allowed to go. Mm -hmm. And it's really cool. And I respect it because of that. So, <laughs> yeah, it's hard. It's hard because I, I don't know. It's I, I feel personally bummed because if I knew in time to help build or if I was any use in the building process, I would have volunteered my efforts. But, you know. It is what it is, but yeah, I, I think with time, like Skate Witch said, it's it's honestly like at this point, like a big time thing. Time is gonna see where everything goes and how everything plays out. And like you said, like patience and just um, respecting the communities and things like that. I in New York is, is no. New York is New York, I guess. Uh, I Because I can't say that I don't see the, these things in other places, you know, because it's everywhere. It's just on a different platform. I think it's just a of who you like, also skate with, because I know there are people that I met when I visited you in New York who talked about indoor spaces and that have connections to people we know. Just like the East Coast is very connected because it's very small. Yeah. Um, and it's interesting how like through one connection, someone will be like, oh yeah, you can absolutely go there. You just have to talk to this person. Right. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's like a group mentality it doesn't necessarily always go over well, but when you're <laughs> able to like personally get to know one person and they can vouch for you, it changes things a little bit. But it's like when people just expect things to be handed off the bat to an entire population of people, then it's like not quite as acceptable so it's just like slowly just again getting to know people and letting them know that they can trust you and things like that but that yeah. also comes with a lot of weight because when someone so when someone messes up it can <laughs> fall on one person so oh shoot yeah i got <laughs> i know there instance there happened where i was in the bay area recently and mm -hmm. i actually saw someone who i'd seen in san diego he travels around and mm -hmm. they were going to go to a ditch spot and I was going to go mm -hmm. with them, but mm -hmm. I didn't have my quads on. And they were like, oh, do you skateboard? And I was like, no, I just mm -hmm. have my quads. And they were like, oh, well, then I can't take you to the ditch spot. The I'm Bay like, Area you know is where so it serious. Is. Where, mm -hmm. Which is crazy because like ditches are already crusty. And like, I get it <laughs> if there's already <laughs> built in stuff there. But the worst that like a roller skater could do to like a ditch spot, I guess, would to pack it. But I don't even think that would happen because barely it's, any. Yeah, no, the worst thing you could do is that. invite your friends. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I literally told him I was like, "Well, it's just gonna be me and my friend," and he was like, "Yeah, I can't take you. Sorry." And I was just like, "Okay." Yeah. <laughs> Are there any we, spots? We that... skated together before, so I don't know. <laughs> well, I want to show a video of one of my favorite DIY spots and skate which and I have skated there before, so you know what's coming. So yeah. please hold. But. The all I mean, You're gonna get me in my feelings though by showing it. Because <laughs> I almost so, sent you a video of it and I was like, no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> um, so let's see here. I has this. And wait, I have, a, I have a question. Do y'all know of any roller skaters that have like their like their own kind of thing going? Like somebody that's yeah, built like I mean, a private or is like like started a key holder thing or something? Um, oh. Neon 
is I a key holder would... in Quest. Mm. She built her own DIY and things like that, or has gotten grants from other places. Can you um, can you say that again? Because I, I oh shred I shed. Like, oh uh, yeah. 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 Wait, and then I know for me, I've talking? also been given key access to a place here for to have private roller skate nights. And um, Nadine, who's in the comments, had a key to a private skateboard spot as well at one point. Yep. Nice. Yep. Is this yeah. the part that John? Hey, I'm there. Yes. I'm over there. I'm behind yes. Doug shooting off fireworks. <laughs> I'm back here yeah. somewhere. Yeah. And Nadine also said something that's really important that th this is kind of like the main thing that they stand by at FDR skate park in Philly is like, you got to build, you got to clean, you got to like yeah. help out or donate money or what have you. And I think that that's like a really cool idea of just like, Mikey, we don't care. You know, like if you want to yeah. use our facilities, whatever, just, you know, pay your so way. And my I love that idea was on the, the 4th of July and I absolutely had fireworks shot at me and I had burn marks and shit. And <laughs> like it's, you, you either get in there and show what you can do or get out because it's not for the light of heart for either skateboarders or roller skaters. It's yeah. like put in and show them that you can handle it. Cause if not, then it's not for you. Like this spot will fuck up. Sorry. This spot will mess up. Like, <laughs> the best skaters because it's so crusty and so unpredictable and like it just will throw you down really fast <laughs> yeah but. it's like the the flow of it is so it's so I much fun but it's oh, crazy it's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah oh my god yes. yeah. we did we did we went uh during um um, um ecdx because we were there mm -hmm. i literally went to ecdx to say hi to Java yeah. and go skate ftr yeah. and it, it seemed really intimidating but oh you're you're breaking up a little I bit this is so, my friend's band by the way this is my friend ricky's band um their band's name is under 95 they're awesome dudes and they're always super welcoming to me but fun fun fact about the music happening even though i don't think anyone can actually hear the music playing yeah this is this is not in new york this is in yeah, philly in philly so here i'll add you back drama hold on i got you there you are hi so so tell us so tell us uh you got cut off there Or we can't hear you still. Who? Drama. That oh, is. Yeah. Difficulties. Um, that's Greg skating right there in the yellow. <laughs> yeah. Greg is awesome. He rips. That's so dope. That's yeah. so cool. Like that's the, the band right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool. So that's yeah. Um. What other? Okay. So I kind of uh -oh. want to like traverse into like. DIY skates, like DIY skate setups. Hold on. Um, uh, I mean, I okay. Well, first of all, we're gonna come I back. Think to I fell this on that hip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We um, what was I gonna say? We're definitely gonna talk more about yeah. DIY spots because Skate Witch is like has all these things, but I feel like so excited. <laughs> I, know. I know. Right. Okay. So hold on. But I do, I do really want to show, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm already laughing cause they're crazy. Yeah. Um, I can't with this. Hold on. DIY spots. Um, DIY. So the story with, Oh, Shoot. oh gosh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. It, it is crazy. Where does the idea of this come from? I think she went to go get them. <laughs> oh my god. There you go. I wish I could I mute it. On Hold on okay. one second. It's real. Yeah, that's sound quality. Hold on. Let me try again. I don't think so, cause I don't have to sh uh, share the audio, so I can just do it without the audio. Oh, it's been like this for and like long. Whoa, minutes. what is that? Okay, yeah, these. If you go to the YouTube, it might be better. I don't know how much is actually on the Instagram, but. 
What is the YouTube or what's the name of the video? Um, I can, can send it to you. Her? One second. Okay. Oh wait, no, it's an Instagram mm. uh, IG TV video. Let me oh, find it. Let hold me on. see if I can send it to you. Okay. Because I can just scroll and find it too. Um, it's. I found it. I had a movie. I'm yeah, really lightning again. fast. No I'm so good at interneting. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm clearly not good at interneting <laughs> because I couldn't get the live figured out today. <laughs> um, play. Mm. Oh yeah, the and the audio is kind of nice on this too. Um. Oh yeah. You so where did this idea? Like who who was who was the mastermind behind? You know, let's make a pair of roller skate Oh, whose backyard is this? It's the wicked ramp, isn't it? Yeah, it's the wicked ramp. Whose whose idea was this though to like build these Diego? skates? Um, this is in LA. Um, so Indy and I actually talked about doing platform skates a long time ago. Um, <laughs> and like, how how do you even start talking about that? Like, you were just like, this sounds like a great idea. I actually don't really remember like the actual like, <laughs> why the topic came up, but um, yeah, yeah, we were just talking about how that would be a good idea, and yeah, uh, she also made some too, and I made some. These are like Demania platforms, so they're like the I don't know, I don't know how far Demania goes back, or if I'm even pronouncing it right, but. Um, yeah, regardless, uh, Nick helped me make them, and they have really long screws in them, and I just thought it'd be cool because I hadn't seen it happen before, and I had shoes laying around that I was just like, I want to see if this will work. <laughs> so, <laughs> How did it feel? Um, they're really weird. Like, going from a normal skate to that, you're already on, like, it's actually the lightest skate I have, to be honest, which is... You would think that wouldn't be a thing, but they're so light because they're not really made of, like, anything. Like, nothing supportive. <laughs> yeah. So, um, they're weird only because they have the platform wedge. But other than that, it's almost just like you can't feel your wheels, kind of, because you're just feeling the wedge. Mm. So, when you're rolling, it's like you it doesn't feel like you're rolling because you can't actually feel the hardware, if that makes sense. <laughs> you... Did a UFO How long are in them? Screws, you know, like three inch. Um, <laughs> no, they're like they're like, like this long. Yeah. Oh my huge. god! Hold on. Like, yeah. This is my hand. They're like bigger than my hand. <laughs> oh my god! Here, put them back up. Look at that. Yeah, that's, that's a long screw. <laughs> Do you have yours, Indy? Oh, they're at the they're at our warehouse. No. I wish I did. I know. Oh but yeah, we Virginia yeah. got some. I mean, like I, I, if it's, I think at the time I've been doing a lot of um, high heel skating with Marowa, and we were just like, you know, platform skates, cowboy skates. A pigeon has literally been talking for years about making her Birkenstocks into skates, but she's like never followed through. So hopefully we'll see that soon. But yeah, and then like Nick had his Nick. Have you seen Nick's flip flop oh, skates? Yes. Oh my God. Gonna, hold on, hold on. Uh, yes, oh my God. I have oh, it, and I had it saved already. You guys. I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay. I died. Yeah. yeah. So I guess like in general, the original idea was from um, how do you say her name? Marowa. Marwa, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, even then, before then, people had done high hill skates, but she definitely kind of was like the person that popularized and like actually yeah. skated in them, you know? Like, I've been oh like cartoons gosh. of people. And oh my God, does he drop in? No. True. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's one thing to platforms. His toes are exposed. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> His toes are exposed. <laughs> like, toes. <laughs> Oh, I'm like cringing. I'm like curling my toes. But there is. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. I can send you the link. Oh but these God. are like old uh, oh. 1970s pop up platform skates. Yeah, dude. Oh. My mom had yeah. a pair of those. She's in this chat, I think. Hopefully, still. Oh, my God. Put those back up. My mom explicitly described them. these to me. So I knew that she. Yes. From the 70s, right? Yeah, yeah 1970s. <laughs> Have y'all seen so, the cake roller skates that people are wearing right now? 
I've got like oh, a the million yes. questions to review them. Wait, what are those? Wait, it's like the, it's a sneaker. They just aren't aesthetically pleasing is my problem They're with so them. They're so uncomfortable. <laughs> They're so you, uncomfortable. But you know, I'm terrible. really curious. You said cake? In theory, in theory, you know? As tiny idea, wheels, right? Just, Very like, tiny wheels. Hold on. Yeah, and I it's, have... Um, I, have I think up. they're also called like um, convertible skates or transitions. But everybody that asks me questions, I say, "Can you review kick skates?" And when I Google kick skates, that's not what they're called. So I don't get where they're getting. Oh this my thing god! From. I Are these them on TikTok? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I I want to buy them from you, Pigeon to try, but there's like two hundred dollars, and I'm like, <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> well, I have a pair of You have two? Yeah, I have two pairs. But you know what? Oh my gosh, no way. I can't help you. I, I feel like they're like a big, I think they're like on um, that site, like Wish, you know? I don't know where they are that they're trending so hard, but somewhere this product TikTok. is real viral. I yeah, like probably TikTok, on TikTok. Because that's where yeah. I saw them first. You're probably right. Uh, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> okay, but but real talk, y'all. Did you Disapprove. see? Disapprove. <laughs> did you see our duct tape roller skates? Yes, oh, let me, yeah, let me. I did, yeah. Stuff. You Hold should on. just tell Pigeon to put a zipper where she cut them out. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? So yeah. when I first so, saw those, I thought it was like she had just covered her skates because of germs. And I was like, oh, I mean, I guess if you're going to touch your skates a lot, like peeling off the tape so they don't catch anything. I was so confused and like didn't oh, know it was for video. Oh my god. Oh, this, this one, this is redneck roller skates. Y'all, I don't know how this video only has like 300 views on YouTube, but like I found this the other day when I when I was posting our duct tape roller skates episode, I found this video and I was just like, oh my god, this guy. What the heck? He really wants to be famous, y'all. <laughs> He's got a stick. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh. oh it looks like it hurt. Oh, you're, yeah. he's got a swell bow for sure. He's you know his he's After this in the video, he goes on to detail all of his injuries that he's done from trying to make viral videos. He's oh pretty my gosh. gosh. <laughs> Redneck roller skates. Let's just Kids get one more. <laughs> one more. Uh, <laughs> poor guy. I mean, I don't feel bad for him because he fell on purpose. Like... <laughs> I just cannot. I want to um, try that though, you know. I I so I found you these know, ones now that will. Oh, they don't let's take a look at those. Wheels. They have like the, they're the street fighters. I don't know. Am I in this right? Uh, it's, I don't want just it. me. Oh, I think I know how to do this. Hold on. Oh my gosh, Drama Mama has her pop out skates. Oops. But hold on. <gasps> no, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> No, dang it. Okay, put them up again. I wanted to make them like bigger. I wanted your screen to be bigger, but I couldn't figure it out. So put it, put the wheels up again. I, I couldn't see them because I was. You can't hear me. Can anyone else hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Drama, show us the skates. Oh, okay. Skates. Skates. Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> oh yes. Got these at Goodwill. I have two pair. I have them in black and I have them in blue. And there's a spot like right here. And it fits perfect on a rail. Wow. Whoa. You have to get like that rail block. Or is it already like uh, it smooth? It's already smooth. So like. Oh, oh like, put it, put it, like closer. Put it like real close. Like the, the middle part. So, <gasps> it is like soaked. Like, it's soaked like, with like, wheels. Me trying a rail. <laughs> They're called street fighters or flighters. Whoa. That's cute. <laughs> So you know yeah, what indeed. I'm excited about, like after all this talk, and honestly, uh, Nick mentioned it too, but when we did pitch and stuff like roller skates, so many people talked about like wanting a pair of skates so they can slip on to go to the corner store, you know? They're like, I don't want something I can lace up. I want to be able to slide my foot in or zip it up. <laughs> so you know those you know those Doc Martens that have the elastic? Yeah. So we yeah. bought some of those Doc Martens with the elastic to try to make like a slip on skate because those are like structural still, right? You know? Yeah, yeah, those are totally structural. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna yeah. say Kiana yeah. shared these, and I thought that was so yeah. sorry. Those are cool. Yeah, those are cool. Yeah. Those are cool. Yeah. I feel like... those. Um, her name is Ash. 
Diet Skate Society on Instagram. Nice. San Diego. So based. good. She makes yeah. those, right? She's so. Uh, well, I don't actually know the story behind this, but it says that she she said gave my skates a zip up closure I had from an old pair of Doc Martens, and I love them even more. So I assume that she made them, but she doesn't detail anything. So yeah, I wonder if they're more just like for aesthetic or if they function. Like, well, it, it looks like the, like the like the the so laces cool. are on the side. It, yeah. yeah, like the laces go into the like whatever the, she like cut it from. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, what what Doc Martens are those? So I can like <laughs> join in on this because I think well, right. so, that's um, great. Atomic has them, and she told me like that it, once your foot's in, it should work good as a skate. But she said they're actually really hard to get on, so they might defeat the purpose. <laughs> but if you just go to the Doc Martens site, it's the one with like the tab. You know, I'm sure there's other brands that have them. If you like, it's just like elastic, like right, like right. Let me see. Where's my Where's my foot? Wait, wrong way. Wait, this way. Yeah, okay. Um, with elastic, like right there. You know those. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a ton of shoes that oh, have them. Oh, yeah, like Chelsea Yeah, my boots. platforms are like that. Yeah. No way, the ones they just stretch to put them on? No, they just, I mean, they're a little bit too big, but they just have a zipper on the side right here. So I don't even yeah. have to mess with this. I just, like, put my Yeah, foot in. <laughs> see, that's a that's something that the that's not a solid, like, nobody has that. If somebody were to really market that on the skate market right now, people would, you know, somebody yeah. should get on that. <laughs> Yup. Oh my God, that's crazy. I can't. I never thought of that being like a thing, but now people are making things. My thing Speaking. is like, what if I fall really hard on that side and then I like embed my body with a zipper? Oh, that's the yeah. only thing I don't want. But oh, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Maybe that's just crude real. skates, not skate park. Yeah, just to like go to the corner store, you know, like yeah. your your uh, errand running skates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I um, guess Grandma Mama doesn't have a corner store. Your nearest place is like a couple miles. <laughs> <laughs> my internet. I'm like keep going around the house, like trying to figure out where's the best spot. That's a good spot. I can't. That a good spot. It's Someone's saying drama. We need to see your skates on a ramp ASAP. And then Jennifer <laughs> says that the uh, shoes you're describing, Indy, they're called Ch Chelsea's. Do you see Chelsea. that? Chelsea's. Chelsea's. Oh, okay. I can't remember. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Chelsea. Cool. We'll have to be a review on it soon. <laughs> yeah. 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 Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. They're, they're in the mail. So maybe if Nick is still down to do like a pass off, you know, from oh the window, then we'll uh, we'll try yeah. to get him to mount them while we're all in quarantine. <laughs> Make sure he delivers them in his flip flop roller skates. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, man, y'all hey, are crazy. Hey, drama mama, you. You built something, like so. Today. Check out these skates that I found at a thrift store. Okay. Ooh, oh, those, those are sick. Oh. oh, that's a big bar in the middle. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't want me though. Why does it have to be me? Those Hold things on. are sick. Oh, are they plastic? Can you see the tires? Or the wheels? The tires. They're like tires. Look how big they are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're huge. That's crazy. I mean, I look love the, the aesthetic look color the, of them though. But look at the plate. Like there's like a tube. On yeah. The plate. <laughs> it's so you can tube. put stuff in there. <laughs> it's a tube. You, you can, can put, put glow, uh, glow sticks in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have those like things that you put on the bottom of your skates, except I haven't put them on any of my skates yet. Me too. I don't I know, know what the exactly point of those what you're are. Talking about. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Do? I bought them at I bought them at RollerCon last a year, and bar? I haven't. Yeah. Yep. I was What's supposed a jump to bar wear do? them on my skates for RollerCon last year, except I put them on my circus outfit instead. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's work. It's work. Oh my gosh. So speaking of people making things, look at, okay. Um, I can't like see the top of my hair. So I, w I thought that I had like a big piece of hair <laughs> like this, but <laughs> I didn't. Speaking of people making things, look at what I got in the mail yesterday. Oh. <laughs> Aww. Aww. I saved it. I saved it so oh, I could no. open it here and I'm really pumped. So, oh my gosh, I have stuff from you too. 
from a long time ago. From a, remember oh my God, you made those little paintings? It. Oh yeah, I remember those. I just pulled, found them pulled again. the phone. Because I also, so during RollerCon, Drama Mama gave me a bearing necklace and I have it, I legitimately have it hanging with all of my little like, Oh, that's cute. Uh, I don't know what you call those medals oh. and stuff. Yeah, that would be, that would I love be an it. MVP medal, like bearing mm. little like. Uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> My first derby wife made me a ring with one on top, but Aww. then it rusted because I have sweaty hands. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like real tarnished and Aww. everything. I'm gonna show these. I'm gonna I'm read gonna go the note for later. The, the note is for later, because I like reading those. But and I'll probably it. write you back. Yeah, let's But see look it. at let's this. Oh my gosh. They're so nice and so soft. Oh They're gosh. so soft. I know what you're talking yeah. about, Indy. Wait. Huh? I know what you're talking about, the little mini paintings from- Yeah, I ago. literally, okay, so back in the day, Tiana made these like tiny little, like really awesome drip paintings and she was selling them online. Wait, wait. And I saw them and I was like, my skate monsters need those for their house. They're like, it's oh, this one's crooked. But it doesn't move anymore. They're like, I have a bunch of them. They're like all over my wall. Oh, those are so cool. Oh my God. They're super fun. That's They're actually a really paint. great idea. They're not made like how people are making them right now. I make them simpler than that. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love that one. So that much. was my idea. Uh, you know, when Chicks and Bowls was doing the slider contest, I drew that yeah. to have a sticker made. <laughs> Shut yeah. up. I love that. I, I did mine. I had like one was really good and it was a rainbow. And I was like, everybody <laughs> loves rainbows. Don't deny it. I was yeah. like, Rainbow's totally going to make it. Rainbow did not. <laughs> I know. I was so sad. I'm pretty sure, like, my first idea was a rainbow. And then I was like, wait, I'm pretty sure other people will do a rainbow. Maybe so maybe gonna... there was just too many rainbow submissions. And so they were rainbowed out looking at them. <laughs> but then they should have did it because rainbows are so cute. <laughs> yeah. Then, then clearly everyone's are your new stickers. I love these. Yeah. These are um, so cute. I think they made, um, made those and made one of you and drama, I think. I think. I think dra um, drama would be able to say for sure, but I think Wild Bones is actually making a slider, like it's a skull, but they're calling them rain bones yes. because of the shape oh. of the thing. I could be and, wrong. I think I think that's what it's called, but yeah. And Sarah made, isn't it from the sticker that Sarah made? Maybe I know that they have done a lot of like really cool like yes. art on the side. It was side it was a stuff. logo. It yeah. was a logo that she did. Hold on, I'm gonna yeah. pull up. Um, their screen here. Hi, One Michelle second. from Costa Rica. Yay! I'm gonna pull it up and show <laughs> Wild Bones Instagram. Do you guys want to talk about Wild Bones? Yeah. Talk about talk about what? Wild Bones. Wild Bones. Uh, yeah. I've never tried them, but they are a very very popular product on Planet Roller Skate. I wasn't gonna slide, like I decided it wasn't for me. And then um, Drama actually spoke to Ryan who owns Wild Bones and was like, so you know, pretty. you should talk to Skate Witch and see how you feel about them and things like that. And I told him, I was like, I don't know if I ever really want to do this again. And no joke, I got them like, got really basic slides at least down within a day just because they're so user friendly. Um, yeah, I didn't feel like I could stall before. And then once I got those, like I was still able to stall and I only slid if I wanted to. But when I wanted to slide, like I could get a couple like inches. But I think it also had something to do with the fact that like before I had sliders, sometimes I would slip out in my stalls like naturally without anything there just because of the way I'd lean. So I already yeah. knew in my mind how to like slide, even though I had never really done it su successfully. Um, but I don't know. I really like them. I like that they last a long time too, because I use mine all the time, and I've only had to change them out like twice this year. So, or this will be the second time. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, Sweet. I've heard a lot of my friends yeah. use those ones in their beginners at sliding and stuff. And mm -hmm. I tried yeah. using them for one of my setups, and unfortunately, it didn't work out with it, so I couldn't actually yeah. really use it. But um, yeah. it looks like it locks onto the coping Hi, pretty goodbye. well. And if you're a beginner, you don't need necessarily need to like obviously slip super far or slide super far. 
So having yeah. a startup slider that you can use, and then once you get a hang of it, actually it helps you keep sliding. It's really yes. cool because I've used like sure grips, like uh, little blocks, which is similar. It just yeah. doesn't have like the bone aspect. And like, I, it's very hard to slide on those. Yeah. <laughs> and those are like so, really good beginners. <laughs> so, and I love that Ryan will um, like take advice from skaters. And mm -hmm. if there's something that doesn't work on your skate, he's willing to like try another slider. I, I think I saw. This is, this is Bantam's I, I'm sliders a that slider she out that Yeah, is more flat Bantam's right are now. a new version. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I can't make this These are bigger, made. But. This is made more for vert, the new ones that are coming out, because yeah. when you're sliding on vert, you have to have a little bit more stability. And I think the way the current bones are made, it like kind of, it's a little intimidating because it puts you more on top of the coping. Um, yeah. And I think this is going to like kind of let you stay more stable, but I haven't used them yet. I'm still learning how to stall well, on vert. That's so. what's really cool. Yeah, those ones are flat right ones. there. Yeah, the <laughs> flat what? ones right there. The one, um, that's my red karma and I'm wearing the rainbow. Hold on. Right there. Oh, yes. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that shot. Look at that shot. Look, look at those colors. leggings. That theme. So good. So mm -hmm. good. I, well, thank you. I'm the so reason, curious to see like, what the. the sorry. Roller bones, like, I'm sorry. Wild Bones, like, uh, I just wanted to give the retailer perspective is that um, he, he, he tells us specifically, like, if people have questions about these, like, send them straight to me. And he wants to work one-on-one -on -one with, like, every customer that he's selling to. That's so amazing. And he'll, like, talk with you about your skate setup. He could, like, literally make, like, custom mods based on yeah. your specific setup. And he's willing to take the time for every person, which is, like, really, I appreciate that, you know? It's really cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah. I know That's, that this current setup, guy. he specifically got feedback from... Um, Gwen Gooley, who's on our team, and then the um, Ro Rolaki, is that how you say his name? Uh, Jaquan out of um, Houston. Jaquan. Oh my God, he's going to be so mad at me if I'm staying in the wrong city. But he got, <laughs> Ryan got feedback from them specifically because they are like very, very good at different like rail slides and uh, ledges as well um, before mm -hmm. moving forward. So it's nice to know that the product has been made to work with the skater versus like just hoping something sticks. Yeah, Jaquan is really good at slides. He is <laughs> so oh good. Everything. I was working so good. Everything. Yeah, I was working with him like one on one every open skate session at RollerCon last yeah. year, and he evolved yes. me so much. Just looking at like different type of rails, how to add them together, how to go from like transition mm -hmm. to a rail. It it was so fun. It's so cool. Yeah, it looks like he's yeah. dancing. Like it, it he yeah. flows on it. Mm -hmm. Have you all seen his jam skating videos where he like oh, clears yeah. giant walls? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm uh, trying to find his Instagram. And he's such a like humble. Do nice you want me to send dude, it and, like, to you? Like willing to. Yeah. I have them in my I messages. So let me see real quick. Is this the? He's a ring skater and then he rollerbladed for a while, but now he's. Oh, wait, kind of, hold on. I can just find it through yeah. Rollerbone. He's works for Adam now. Oh. Well, just kidding. I have to log in. <laughs> I'm like, wow, just kidding. Let me close Wait, out here, this. I'll send it to you. I have it right here. Okay. Guys. Maybe if my Instagram will load. Yeah, I my all my stuff's moving super slowly because of um like trying to be on the computer at the same time, but I can do things from my phone pretty easily. Okay. Good. I still can't hear yeah. boom. <laughs> I have oh, okay, one. I got it. I got it. Why? Why can't you hear me? Yeah. On a scale from one to to okay, one being really bad audio and ten being great audio. Where is everyone else and hearing everyone else? I can hear everybody pretty well. Yeah, okay. I can hear everyone fine. Okay, same. I sent you his profile. Except uh, drama can't hear me. <laughs> okay, let me look. You need subtitles on Instagram. <laughs> Yeah, no, on Facebook. Facebook? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Yeah, okay. Share screen. I can't hear boom. <laughs> yeah. Da, 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 da. Okay.
What's so, the weather like where y'all are? It's raining here in California. It's been raining the whole time. This crazy really? this has been going on, which is I unheard know. of. It doesn't rain here, you know? I feel oh, like yeah, New Mexico got, has inside. a ton of rain. Huh? <laughs> New oh. Mexico has a ton of rain also. Oh, there he is. Yeah, because this is okay. what this is who you guys are. Oh my god. Oh, like, look god. at that. that is, oh god. <laughs> Just imagine how many times like he's Jeez. had to probably practice or maybe not who knows but like to get uh, maybe I'm like, he seems like one of those people that just hits it the first time he tries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. i mean i feel here's the thing is i think he like grew up skating like yeah. roller skating he also rollerblades and like that's why i love his style so much is it's it's such a f like wonderful mix of like all of these skills like yeah. he's with the quad oh, park oh skating, he's like literally mixing his rollerblading, his aggressive he has a rollerblading nice skills. Of, um, he's very like relaxed, but also yeah. there's a, a certain level of intensity in the way he skates that it's just very exciting to watch. Yeah. No matter yeah. what he's doing. And I think that's a super rare thing to find. Like you can skate with people that have like a little bit of both, but for it to be like, you never know what's going to happen when he's out like that, there. Like, like that switch up thing. is like insane. I'm yeah. like, what, what, what was that? And like, those are like the skills that a jam skater would really only possess. Cause that like yeah. takes that's years and life. years. That's a blading move. Yeah. But I'm, and also blading jam skaters, I'm sure. Like, I can't, mm -hmm. I'm not like, I obviously greatly enjoy it uh, because it's yeah. such a cool mix. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. And it's so, so crazy because cool. little foot tricks like that, too, you do a run at a park and, like, either people are paying attention or they're not. And so, like, those tricks don't really, not that you're doing it for other people, but, like, no one notices that. They just look at, like, the bigger thing. But when yeah. you're doing, like, a session or you post on Instagram, it's like, oh, my God, like, yeah. wouldn't have noticed that if we were all just, like, hanging out or something. Like, like every single one of these darn clips is absolute fire. Is so there good. a good great, this great one? The um one with the hardwood floor in the background, not with him in it, but like below where there's some legs bent. Oh, okay. Oh. Hang on. Uh, yes, that one. This one is great. It's like in the rink, but it's not not a rink. Oh, move. I love this one. Oh it's my so gosh. good. Oh, oh why so is it gonna be so small? I'm so sad. Oh, it's such a good video. Yo. <laughs> We'll watch it one more time. I'm sorry it's so small. <laughs> Whoa. I wouldn't have so brave enough to slide under and all that. I know. Right? Oh my gosh. I get scared. Oh my god, I want to try that. People's legs. <laughs> like Woo! just and like like I said, like his stance is like such an interesting mixture between like somebody who's grew up roller skating and somebody who like rollerblades. Which is something that I like look at all the time at skate like from skaters in terms of style like ah I can't ah it's like I love it it's so good it's yeah there's cool like there's definitely like a like when you see a quad skater that was a rollerblader for the past you know twelve years and you see them yeah. skate it's like some like most of the time it's very obvious it's like oh that's a blader that put on roller skates right. but now like watching that yep. it's like whoa whoa what what yeah, <laughs> yeah. like that's, exactly yeah exactly exactly and I I don't know I dig that. I think it's really cool. Um, gosh, what's it? Shoot, I see it. I should have spent more time looking these up. There's so another I wrong, like. I could be that? wrong, but I think he's so he works for Adam, and I think he's yeah. helped them develop a jam plug. I could be wrong, but it's like supposed to be more. Um, it works better for the park. Like it's because it, a lot of people that come from inlines over, I feel like the problem is toe stops. So I think he's yep. helped them create like a jam plug that kind of works for the skate park. But yeah. yeah. And yeah. also I think what Max was it? Mead uses his yeah, uh, jam Max plug. Mead did it. Yeah. Is it M E E D? Hold on. M A X underscore uh M <laughs> I think. Max Mead. <laughs> Oh wait, is there, is there bad stuff showing up in the results or something? Oh, no, we're gosh. just laughing. No. We're just we're just laughing at googling. This okay. is not Max. It, it's no. M A X X <laughs> underscore M E A D M E A D A B. Yeah, there you go. With, no, no, with it's it. right there. It's there the first go. one. Yeah. There you go. Oh. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not this one. It's I just not? went to this one. No, it's this oh, guy. It's two X's. It's two X's. <laughs> I just had it up. Sorry. 
<laughs> you guys, I'm dyslexic. Don't do this to me. Wait, can you hear me in here? Yeah, I can hear uh -oh. you. I can okay. hear you, Mindy. I can't yeah. go to the bathroom. I have to go leave my headphones outside. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna take them real fast, but wait, I think I brought the microphone with me. Okay. <laughs> I think I think this is the one where he had yeah, he's he's grinding on his toe stop, so he has yeah, that like cool. plug. So good. I was just in the Bay Area skating with him and it's like wild in person too. You're like, how is that even I, possible? <laughs> I bet. Wait, but isn't he from like I'm excited somewhere to meet him. I'm glad that he uh, joined our team this year. I've yeah. never met him before, so. Does Wait, where is he from, though? Just... That's awesome. I thought he was from Northern California for some reason, but I don't know why. I that thought is the he Bay was Area, from... isn't it? Earth. I thought he was from, like, somewhere internationally. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. No one so knows. So Boom had a video of yeah. someone. On this oh, it's our full twenty seconds. No, yeah. Am I on here, now? I'll show it. Um, Audio Roller, who just got onto Chicks and Bowls, his stuff. Yes. I've been following him for forever. Addy Roller, and I'm so proud yeah, of him. Addy Roller is so dope. So Street Fighters is arguably my favorite video so far of all times for roller skating, because you know I really like um, street skating and. It's, it's, oh, like the, his section was probably my, I mean, there's actually a couple of favorite sections. I would have, argue but. that he is one of the best quad skaters out there. He also, his setups are very, very weird and like intricate, but like, honestly, his street fighter part, it's good, but I've seen better clips of him from old stuff that he's posted. Like yeah. he's on a completely like, chain link. His, yeah, that video is great. I think it's. <laughs> What the name of that video is but that one's really good and it has a great soundtrack because he like has the um oh i'm like blanking on the name of the band that plays in the background the whole time um oh, this I the color. This so oh this is so yeah. good yeah he's great oh yeah. and like yeah and he also crazy. like was very undiscovered for a long time there too like i'm glad to know that like other people knew about him beforehand but like yeah. when i would bring him up a lot of people were like i don't know who that is and i'm just like Ah, like he's so good. Yeah, you're missing he's out. So good. Yeah, very much. Out. He <laughs> kicks and bowls now, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, he yeah. he really really deserved it because I don't Super think he had any sponsorship it. before that. Mm -mm. Okay, so I have a question. I just love. Um, uh -huh. how do you guys feel about people that are like the best skaters that don't get views because it's not like social media relatable or something? Like, do you think <laughs> that these people, like, okay, so it's like, anyways. In my mind, I'm like, people can have like the sickest tricks ever, but if you're somebody that's random on social media, it's not relatable, you know? So yeah, like, it's what if we could get these skaters to do things that were also super like connected to like something that people could relate to, you know? I think mm -hmm. it depends because I also know skaters that don't want to be on social media. There is an amazing yeah. skater from Maine named Sophie. Um, their yeah. Instagram handle is Sopatrope, I think, but they are also on another level of skating and really intense and very like punk rock. But when they've come over to skate at Lost Bowl before, I was like, can I please take a video of you doing like this really cool trick? And they were just like, I don't really want to do that. And I think you have to oh be respectful of people's like privacy. I think it can also stunt creativity if they, yeah. if they don't want to have to like feel inclined to like post things. Like they just want to skate for themselves. That makes me so yeah. happy to know those people exist. Mm -hmm. Yes. I've, I've been wondering, I'm like somewhere there's that skater that's the best quad skater that we don't even know about because they don't post I mean, on the internet you know look at <laughs> yeah. Irene. like I, Irene is a prime example Irene's I been Irene is for years and could care less about social media stuff I mean and, like, not they only that yeah but she other people. yeah she 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 she'll be like no please you don't have yeah. to post oh <laughs> and yeah. I'm like yeah I but like a really respectable thing. I like, I like to think that if I was ever going to be like, I'm done with social media that I could keep people like Irene in mind and be like, I don't yeah. have to worry about what everybody else thinks about yeah. this. Like I'm doing this because I love it and not because of the views. Like, don't get me wrong. I appreciate everything that my sponsors have done and everybody that follows me, but I do think it's really good to keep in the back of my mind for like the day that I decide that I don't want to be a part of it in this aspect. Like I just want to 
do it because it makes me happy and not worry about it like every day and just take it wherever it takes me. But yeah, you know. exactly. It's easy to yeah. say that. It's a different it's thing to do. <laughs> yeah. I just feel like I've, I've like, I know of like, it's just, I don't even know like anybody specifically, but it's kind of been like a narrative that I've heard repeated that like, people get really frustrated when they have these like the sick skating that like doesn't get as many views as they think like it deserves, you know? Yeah. Which like I can totally understand because I feel the same way. I'm like yeah. mind blown it. And I what think- I realized more recently is it's just about because like right now on TikTok there's this blading Instagram or there's there's this rollerblading TikTok called Loller Blader, like L O L Loller Blader. Okay. Yeah. And when I got on TikTok, I got like 130 subs, like not, it didn't take that long. I was kind of like, whoa, this is cool. And, and Kiana, you have a bunch too, right? And you just posted a bunch of skate clips that you already posted on Instagram or maybe not. I don't know. I haven't posted that video yet, but <laughs> it'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you're just kind of like, you know, like, like same content on a different platform, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like, I don't know. I like the, this, this, I'm like, why isn't this blading? TikTok getting more views like these are the most insane bladers with the most insane tricks and then I just realized like if you don't know the sport and you don't know what it's about it's like not relatable sport. to an outside yeah. audience you know yeah I think so. that that's the same thing and I see that across the board um for the most part in roller derby and um you know where I I see it's people with these in- yeah, yeah it, it is so just, like, insane really- oh my god yeah Sorry. I think it's just currently still growing and there's companies and organizations and YouTube videos that are allowing it to become a more public thing, which is amazing. But in terms of like people actually doing incredibly skilled, it's as big right now because, um, like you said, like the skills aren't necessarily market marketable. It's frankly, like the colors and what a person's wearing. And that wasn't the case back in like the nineties with rollerblading where they were hiring people that can, they're like, okay, like, can you jump off of this like two story building and like do a backflip? You know, I don't think advertisers are looking for that right now or yet. And I wish they would, cause it'd be really dope to see like, you know, marketing companies look for influencers that are like that. But I just, it's, I, yeah, I think maybe that's why. Yeah, Instagram specifically is about the visual. So if you don't have the yes. colors with the clear right. images, like, right. like literally Instagram videos will not do well if it's not 100% mm-hmm. clear with the good lighting, you know, which yep. is a bummer. But it's like my entire, the same- yeah. my entire like experiment. I'm like, what if I post a crappy pit picture? What if I post like a really good one? What well, happens? Yeah, that's the thing that I've been learning about with TikTok too, because it's weird finding like, when you have like a new social media platform that doesn't show you like your audience, like Instagram I does often. business profile wise, finding like your audience and figuring out like what videos kind of like make your audience or what video, you know, blows up or whatever. It's so weird because like it could be a really good video and it doesn't blow up or it could be like, yep. for example, the one I just posted like they could ship you and another skater and apparently it's blowing up that way. Like it's really yeah. weird on TikTok and I don't even know how to explain that unless you like read the comments in the video I'm talking about. That's but so it's- great. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what are you talking about? I haven't seen it. Can you watch it? My, yeah. My most Can we watch recent, it? My most recent one, uh, it's like a bunch of people. I was actually going to send this to Planet Roller Skate for the uh, giant video that you oh. wanted to make. Oh, was it yeah. the snake person trick? Five people. Yeah, yeah five people. So yeah, like, I saw that. That was so sick. Yeah, so me oh and Lynette fell, and it's like, <laughs> it's so silly. I guess the way she yes. grabbed me, they, like, started Precious. shipping us. It's, oh, yeah, it's out of millions, no dude? <laughs> yes. A million views, but, yeah. Yes! It's really cool, though. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I love this. Oh my god. I absolutely love this. I think I think the world of the internet is such an interesting place and like it's, I think I you know for anyone that's frustrated I guess the thing that I would just say is just keep experimenting. Yeah. You know? There's cuz I what you just said explained it all is like <laughs> there's 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 kind of there's a rhyme or reason to everything but also there's not a rhyme or reason and just sometimes it just 
you have the rhyme or reason doesn't work, but sometimes the rhyme or reason does work. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah. I think that's yeah, why I brought it up is because audience... I was like, oh, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I just brought up the whole, like, like these incredible skaters that don't get views, you know, just because I'm, like, shit, like, exactly what you just said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, and, and it's crazy. And I think I will say for people who are interested in skating, who are interested in any type of skating at all, and you're interested in learning more about roller skating, that there's definitely some really great hashtags to follow. Mm -hmm. I definitely follow the CIB crew. Um on instagram i follow um what is it like skate Oakland love Rollers or something great yeah like there's just you can search like some of the you know like um roller skating involved hashtags and you can see all these people it's not like you know they're not like hashtagging it's there yeah it's, well I can't internet right now, apparently. So, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, the other thing I was going to say, too, just because, like, we're on the topic. My audience on TikTok is at 3 a.m. versus my audience on Instagram oh, is, like, 12 p.m. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, like, well, I see, that's why... Like yeah the ahead. fact that you're even like thinking of your audience like that's why you know you get the one million on TikTok, mm -hmm. and i think like so we I, like and that's not that it views matter like it like yeah but you know like like you know forget forget getting views we don't do this for views. we do this because we love it you know but at the same time i'm like roller skating should be so much bigger than it is <laughs> <Totally>. <laughs> no we, we we just need like mountain dew or like like something Cheetos. huge oh Cheetos. my gosh <laughs> do i have a video for you okay. hold on hold have on you? hold on okay 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 yes let's see it yeah. i don't have cheetos but i have this the... video that's about to come up leon is a prime example of someone that is yes. absolutely incredible and doesn't care about like social what? media stuff like, yeah, he puts totally. out great edits but he is much more just about the skating and i love hearing his opinions on skating and like his style is very intense but also very flowy and he we had yeah. a conversation once about party tricks which are just the tricks that like aren't that big of a deal to us but like to yep. skateboarders and like other people on the outside it like blows their mind yeah. and there's so much yep. to throw out there but he's he's amazing just yep. oh my god this would be one of them he he taught me how to do that so <laughs> i have a video and i shit you not that video i think is still one of the ones that i have a lot of views on and he taught me how to do that trick at um, skate camp, mm -hmm. and oh, I no actually way. love that trick. Yeah, like I use it all the time, and it is totally like you said, like one of those like bar tricks where yeah. it's like not really all that hard as long as you can get your body into that position. Mm -hmm. And uh, people love it. Like the not grind, but I some of his stuff is intense. <laughs> yeah, and he side stands. He does both. He like he alternates. My favorite mm -hmm. thing is that he's done a class of like twelve, the twelve different stances or whatever it is. What? And I, I yeah, I, I love. <laughs> yeah, okay. Or it's or it's ten. Or see, I'm dyslexic, so don't count on me for numbers. But it's a lot. <laughs> Might be just eight. <laughs> <laughs> Something. 12 to 8. Something to 3. <laughs> hey, boom, I sent you a Mountain Dew uh, roller skate related commercial. Ooh, oh, my yeah. God. What? Are you, you, you said Mountain so Dew commercial, good. and I was like, oh, this has already happened. I got Wait, your this is you. Late. You guys got to be ready. I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt. He is an incredible skater. <laughs> like, but y'all got to see this video because it's pure cult classic gold. Wait, did you send it on Instagram? Facebook. Okay. Facebook being slow. This probably yeah, isn't no. PG-13, but do you know that video that was circulating on Facebook that was like, say no to drugs, say yes to roller skating. Oh, yeah. That you <laughs> <laughs> that so good. Can you sat there and watch that video um, with him, and then like yeah. within three days, it, it started circulating again. And we were just like watching it blow up. <laughs> I can't tell if it's real or not. Like, was it supposed to be for kids it or looks no? It's very real. Yeah, it looks like it's like a local, but I feel like they had to know how cheesy they sounded too. Like, I think it was a little bit of both, right? Yeah. Like, that's what we like to hope. I always appreciate when you can't quite tell, you know? Like, that's yeah. a good, that's it. You know, like, get people arguing in the comments about if it's real or fake, and then it's a good video. Oh, okay. Is there audio for this or no? Um, like I can put the, 
Yeah. Can you hear it? <laughs> it's worth it. It's worth it. I got. I bought one of these, you guys. I have one of these right now this in the warehouse. So I've been good. waiting for the rain to stop. So. Oh, with the rollerblader got in there and the skateboarder. Okay. Okay. So we'll that's come. awesome. That's that actually kind of great. That okay. Side note. Can I just add that I've actually always wanted to do this, and we talk about it, like Irene, and so my entire CIB admin crew in New York. So me, Irene, Candy, Bash, and Shredder have talked multiple times <laughs> about doing this, like with the fucking wind. You can thing. go Excuse buy me. one. They have them in stock right now. Are you serious? I, I bought one and he sent it. I got it within two days. Like he didn't even have to make it. Like they still make them. Look at this. Ready? Here's the finish. Here's the finish. <laughs> <laughs> one more time. One more time. <laughs> You should get it. So I just got one. I've been waiting for like literally like the rain to stop. Oh my god, so good. Can that so, like, this is, like this, just remake yeah. the commercial. Like that be like, so great. Look at those. Like when yeah, I need one. The so patterns are beautiful. Please send me the too. hookup. Because I want yeah, yeah. one. So and it's you really have commercial, to hit your commercial is living. Motion, like, <laughs> right. <laughs> I hope oh, you have an outfit know. like that, Indy. <laughs> Oh, Indy, yes, you have to have a, a match, match. white short and horizontal yes. shirts. Like, is that a thing? Like, <laughs> I feel like Duke's or a Fred's shirt was similar to this guy in the background. <laughs> right? This was the prime time, you guys. Southern California, oh when the wind skaters the and the vert time. rampers were alive, or I mean, we're still, you know, yeah. dominating. You know, <laughs> actually, side note, speaking of you, Indy, is I was watching your video on YouTube um where you were trying some of your old vaulting tricks from uh since you had the thing and i wanted to share it because i was like so hyped about seeing it and i just like want to see like how it's you like felt. a vault it's like gymnastics you know you know the vault you guys you yeah like, really hit the springboard i kind of have been using bowls like that i'm like forget this whole line thing what You're if i just did a sprint and a big trick you know? oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> I don't know why my internet's being weird. There we go. Hey. Oh. Are you okay? Did it hurt? So this no, is something yeah, I've done like okay? a million times out of that bowl, but I just hadn't done it. And I hadn't done it since I gotten back and like the landing was going to be heavy. And if you land short, that's like the bone I hurt. So, so I was nervous, how does it but... feel now? Like, did it, um, did it it's... feel? So like the landing like that didn't hurt, but I can definitely still feel it. Have, I, have any of you guys broke, broken a bone? I've I've hyperextended <laughs> my right ankle, um, but so yeah. I have broken I think I a broke my bone, and yeah. I've just been ignoring the. <laughs> I think I broke my tailbone a month ago actually because it still uh, is. Well, there's nothing you can do about that, right? Yeah, and so that's why I didn't go to the doctor. I've broken both my pinkies um, and my middle finger on my left hand. Oh my god! And I think Ooh. I broke a wrist a few years back. Do, so but it's all been like stuff that's so minor that I'm like maybe I did maybe I didn't and it just hurts for a very long time unfortunately I know I broke my finger because it bent it like, out, like, <laughs> I, but uh, I just was like not sure for a while so I, don't take advice from me I'm not, I'm not <laughs> but yeah with my tailbone I'm like they can't tell me they wouldn't be able to do anything about it but basically I was trying to air a spine ramp like do a hand plan on it and go over it, and I overshot it and it's flat and it was Ooh. the same weekend as a derby tournament, and I couldn't function the next day. I was in so much pain. So, like, uh, yeah, that was – it was in the middle of February, end of February almost. And I still, when I get out of a bowl, like, it just kind of hurts. And then if I, like, yeah. am in the car too long, it really hurts when I get out. So yeah, I so probably like, broke it. You're, like, better to the point where you can, like, operate and do things. And, like – but, like, no matter what, my like, my ankle still hurts, you know? And it's yeah. it's probably gonna be like that for a while, but I'm finally to the point where like those hard landings and things aren't so bad. But there's always you yelled because you didn't finish. Uh, but I thought you. Huh? Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, the only I broke my arm when I was a kid, so like it, I don't feel like it counts. Yeah. And I also, I mean, not like they're any better, but the rest of my injuries have been concussions, unfortunately. Your so. your spine thing reminds me of this video. Um, mm -hmm. Here, I'm just gonna. I don't know if you can see it, but I basically just overshot a spine. Yeah. Wait, let's see if it. Sorry, you don't have to take the video down. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly oh. what happened. 
but it was super cold outside. So it just hurt really badly in general because I just landed straight to it. I was by myself. Yeah. And Wait, where do you I actually live? I live in Virginia, but I was okay, in Pennsylvania. Okay, that's what I happened. Yeah, I was just at a derby tournament and had a day off and was like, I'm going to go skate this ramp. And uh, yeah, Boom was at that tournament. So <laughs> I don't know if you saw me play that last day, but I went out twice because I just couldn't I, physically pick up my legs. <laughs> I remember your face. I went home early. I was like, how you, yeah, yeah, I remember you saying that you were going to go home early. You're like, I cannot. And I yeah. was like, damn. I had but you, it was just for me exhausted. You but ran off of the adrenaline for so long. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> You're like, I, I fell really hard. It hurts. And I was like, it looks like it hurts. And you're yeah. like, yeah, I'm going to be fine. And I'm going to jam during this giant state tournament. It's going to be okay. <laughs> Is That's not where moment, I never sure. know if I've like fractured a bone or I just hurt it really yeah. badly because the adrenaline yeah. is like, oh, this kind of hurts. And then I keep skating. And then like three hours later, my body just was like flared up hurting. And I'm like, oh, yeah. maybe I did. <laughs> also, <laughs> injuries have been when it's really cold outside too. So I'm just kind of like, it's mm -hmm. going to hurt really bad either way. Like I could be fine and I'm not sure. And I, with my fingers, I haven't known until like a week later because the swelling's gone down and I'm like, Oh, it's clearly not just jammed. So yeah. And hopefully Kara, I'm done with that for the year. Kara asked, <laughs> Indy, do you, sorry, Kara asked on the, on the chat, Indy, do you have any continued stretches to keep your ankle feeling uh, better since it healed? And you have a video about that, don't you? Uh, yeah. So Kate fish has been my, um, my oh. guidance in this. And if you look right here, this is my bed. Um, let me see. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Wait, that's my door. Do you see this? Yeah. yeah. I got my stretch band right there. there you yeah. go. So like, I sit here. I don't know. Let me see if I can get my phone in the right place. Uh, Kara do... is one of my local skaters and broke their leg in a bowl skating with me. And they're tough as shit and have already gotten back on the ramp since they did it back you in know... December or January, I think. Yeah, so, that's yeah. that's the it's crazy to me. Is I know so many skaters that have already like had injuries and come back like within just a couple of months. And I'm going on seven months now. And I'm like, yeah. a lot of it's mental for sure, but I'm not like scared yeah. to get on my skates. I just feel like I've been so sedentary for, for this is the first time in my entire life that I haven't been like a crazy active person for like, like literally I did gymnastics. I didn't miss a single week of gymnastics my entire life from the time that I was five until I was 23. So like I worked out like every day and for the first time I actually sat in it on a couch for like six months, you know, or like three months, three yeah. months when I, and then the, like still to this day, like, I feel like my body's just waking up again, you know, but it, it's yeah. not just are like you injury. feeling like, are you feeling like additional pressure with that, with everybody being like stuck inside right now too, you think, or are you feeling like, I know for me, it's like, I'm finding more of an excuse to be outdoors and be active because I have a unique situation but I feel like a lot of other people I'm sure online are feeling like very much what you're talking about where they're just like stuck inside and not sure how to like stay active. And also just like with everything being so upsetting right now, like giving in to things making you I want to sit definitely, around. Honestly. So like personally, I feel like I've made it out of it, but I kind of knowing, knowing where I was like with my body not moving. So do you guys listen to Grimes? Yeah, I think so. sometimes. So Grimes oh, wait, is like, okay, well, she's carrying Elon Musk's baby right now, but she wasn't yes, always she that is. famous. Yeah, they, so like they look great. <laughs> she, she, I have loved her music since like 09. And like, she's a musician that I've always kind of felt like, like she, like I would fangirl hard if I ever uh, met her. I've been following the shit for like 10 yeah. years. Yeah. But she has this song that's, um, I've been wanting to make a skate video to it real hard, but it, it talks about, well, the main line just goes, Unrest is in the soul. We don't move our bodies anymore. And it's talking about like the idea of like, we live in a simulation or like we're ultimately just like brains plugged into this greater computer that we're operating. You know, it's like sci-fi kind of trippy AI yeah. kind of music, you know? <laughs> and so I'm really, really into that, especially now that I make my living from YouTube and I make all these videos and I'm like programming these computers, knowing that they're going to give me these numbers that I want to see in order, you know, like it's, I, I'm programming a computer and it's all kind of weird to me knowing that I'm doing these things so that people at home will sit there and watch my stuff. I'm like, I'm making videos to try to get people outside skating, but the videos I'm making are 
just giving them more content to make it okay for them to like keep watching this and be brain dead, you know? So it's kind of like this, I don't know. I just think about it probably way too much. <laughs> I, so especially when I was hurt, you know, I was like that little person. I was like, <laughs> just like watching the TV and now yeah. I've been out of it and now everybody's quarantined and I'm like, don't stop moving your body. Like, but now I'm at the point where I'm realizing the unrest isn't just in my body. It's like this thing in my soul, you know? And it's yeah. like, how can, how can I not be on my phone all the time? And I think a lot of people are feeling that, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like feeling every time you skate, you have to make a video or every time you skate, you yeah, need to get views on the video or it's not going to be, it's just, it's not, it's not healthy, you know? It isn't. And it yeah. actually, I'm, I'm personally like the, this time has been nice to a point, but also really important in terms of like my mental health and like thinking about things like that. And it's funny that you mentioned that Indy because I legit, Definitely. I had a, like, literally, I think it was like the second or first day. And this is not a lie. I legitimately bought followers on Instagram at like 1 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I woke up the next day, like, what did I do? And then I like removed all like the fake followers, whatever. But like, I had a serious like conversation with myself, basically like inside my head, obviously, not out loud, but anyway, about I mean, like- kind what, of out loud, you told, like, you told people yeah, on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I was like, um, wh what am I doing? Like, what is, why did I feel like that? Like, mm. is that how much pressure I put on myself to make this work? Like there's, I clearly surpassed this line where the internet and like experimenting with, like I mentioned earlier, like, posts that are poor quality photos versus good quality where apparently there was that line mentally that I went over where I was like actually being mentally like negatively uh, affected by the amount of views or the amount of this and things like that. And I was like, Oh dang, like that actually like became a thing. And so I'm really grateful for this time and um, to kind of like sit back and realize like, no, really the point of that communication, at least for me personally, because I'm not, first of all, I'm not running a business was for experimentation. So I can share that information with my students that are learning how to be in advertising and things like that. Yeah, and then legit. number two, yeah. And then number two is just to build a community out here. Like it's not about like, I don't want to say, I mean, I literally bought bots. So it's not about like, you know, numbers is what I'm trying to say for me. And it's about like these genuine connections and like seeing people like have these opportunities to connect. And especially um, since this, like people that are learning how to skate in skate parks is still like growing a lot. Um, a lot of the people that I've met are international. So it's like so nice to have like, what would we do without the internet? Like, yeah. you know, we, we barely uh, play see video games. There's a <laughs> podcast that's um, run by um, Magic out of New York. It's called Holding Space. And recently um, they had an episode. Um, and I forget what the skater's name was, but they were talking about the show Cheer. So it, that's yeah. unrelated. But just like they talked about <laughs> in the show how it reflects on there's like one cheerleader on the show who is like an Instagram influencer and like has all this pressure. And they talked about how they were kind of sad for this person because, and I, I'm sure like Indy has kind of like some insight to this as well, where when you start getting a certain following and have to consider every action and move that you make, it changes things because now you're not just doing it for yourself, you're doing it with the people in mind that you're having watch you. But also if it's monetized, it completely changes the way you things are done because that affects your living at that point. Yeah, so, yeah exactly. Well, and I think a lot of people want to think that being sponsored is like this thing to like aim at. It's also like you have to think that if you are looking into things like that so that you can get product and receive money or whatever it might be, it's going to change the way that you have to do things and how you're going to feel about things because again, it's going to affect your possibly you're living in the long run. Um, and yep. I think roller skating is in a very early stage of that, but like, so obviously early. like with Indy, you know, having like planet roller skate and things like that, you have way more insight to it. But I just thought it was just so like spot on because I know 
now being under contracts and things like that, like I have to make sure with myself that I have very serious conversations with like who I sign on with beforehand about like, what are you willing to do for me before I say yes to you again? Like, because I want to make sure I understand my own worth as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like, I can't imagine like, uh, like I said, like all this like mental pressure that I like saw myself like, uh, or happening, like, how much pressure when there's a lot more at stake financially. I mean, I tried to like sell pins online, but like it wasn't, you know, maintaining my lifestyle by any means. And so it's, yeah. it's well, I mean, really great to see it. I mean, you know more. <laughs> I mean, as far as like the, the pressure to like maintain like a career, like, it just kind of keeps happening and I don't really feel like a pressure like, Oh my God, like we're not going to keep selling skates if I don't keep making really cool videos. Like I, I just, I feel the pressure that like every video I put out, I want to feel like y'all are going to love it. And yeah, you know, but we too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that drama? Are you still there drama? She I is think, not right now. I think but, she's having yeah. connection problems. They said, oh, I'm waiting for her to come uh, back. Okay, well, she'll come back eventually. But the <laughs> thing is, I, I the thing that's extra weird for me is going to physical events now because, um, like, I feel like when I meet people, they know me and they already have an opinion about me and they have, like, a one-sided relationship with me. And I feel like no matter what, I'm just going to, like, disappoint people. And I don't, you know, like, it's just something in my head. Oh, but, fair. like, yeah, like, when I meet people in person, it's just, like, Am I going to like live up to how they see me on the internet? Because the internet is 110% an illusion, you know, yeah. and it's real. And we try to be as authentic as we can. And I hope like, you know, like, especially, but I don't know, definitely after my injury, like with coming back, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do something really crazy or impressive. And I was like, no, you don't <laughs> actually like the thing yeah. that people yeah. really respond to is being relatable and being real. Yeah. And I think that's what my yep. injury taught me. It's before I put all the pressure on doing the biggest tricks, you know, or like doing the highest risk things. And now I'm more like, actually, it's not about that at all. People want to see me fall more than anything, yeah. you know? And, <laughs> and, you know, side note, Kiana, I just want to mention, I have a junior skater who does derby and she does park. Uh, B, she's explicitly mentioned that she loves following your page and your TikTok because yeah. of exactly what Indy was just talking about, yeah. because you are so open, so honest about everything. And so, I mean, that is, I know a human that's very appreciative of that in particular. <laughs> oh, so thanks. I think that's really cool. I mean, yeah. hopping on what Indy kind of said, like, I feel like, I mean, I like watching videos of people falling and like, I will watch like a video of me falling and I'll laugh at myself and be like, wow, that was really funny. I'm sure other people will think it's funny. And it's like, I'm, I'm not trying to like do all my perfected stuff. Like I try to, if I have filmed all of my tries, I would like to do a video with all my tries because I feel like so yeah. many people, there are so many people who only put their perfected stuff out there that like it's hard when you're on Instagram scrolling and going through everything that's perfect and like, Oh my God, why can't I do this? <laughs> it's nice to see someone who, you know, shows what's real and how it actually yeah. is because same if you were to do a normal skate session with me, you'd see me like fall a million times yeah. before getting the trick. So why not put that right. on Instagram too? <laughs> yep. I yeah. People, I think that I've had people message me and ask why, why do I post my fails? Because <laughs> it's real. Like, yeah. Why not? <laughs> it's not the love dirt. It's a decline. It's the decline. <laughs> <laughs> the also, hashtag post more bales. Um, yeah. Also, a great one to follow on Instagram. Ooh. Oh, really? yeah. Some of them, though, are so, like, sometimes I'm not ready and, like, I'll scroll and, like, I'm like, oh, gosh. Like, there was one um, there was that one posted recently where they like hit their head and I was like Ooh. oh spicy ivy I think oh, it was yeah. 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 and I was like no you hate it I know <laughs> like, even the one that um ginger shred man is that his yeah Instagram? he posted oh, one like helmet. on his story with his helmet and I was just like ah my head <laughs> yeah so rough. it like, like okay, you guys yeah. know though okay just like do you guys know that you could literally be making money off these clips? Like, if 
I, if you don't care, awesome. If you just want to skate to skate, awesome. But Kiana, that clip that you just posted that got a million views on TikTok, you can license to People Are Awesome and make a lot of money off of it. To People Are Awesome? People Are Awesome and Jukin Media, Viral Snare. There's like 10 yeah. viral video companies. So <laughs> like, for kidding. example, just to so like, like for anybody listening and for you guys too, <laughs> And like for roller skating in general, I feel like we should be on these like these big viral platforms way more. Is like um so yeah. have you seen the clip? I where think I so. To grow, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so that mm -hmm. clip has made me more than three thousand dollars at this point. Oh no way! Just from like licensing it to viral snare. So if it has that quality though, you know, like the the trick, the one with the three people. Right. It's just like it's something different than seeing somebody grind a handrail, you know. It like mm -hmm. has this like companionship and this like the fail of it, and then like the totally. make, and it like people people that don't know about skating would become really like involved in that. Like it has viral mm -hmm. quality, you know. You should totally Ooh, sell yeah. that clip. They've reached out those some of those groups you mentioned have reached out to Lost Bowl, which is where I live, to, to use some of the videos. They are not kid friendly. Um, though. Do not bring those up. <laughs> they're not kid friendly. <laughs> they're not, wait, they're not, like, what? not kid friendly. Weird, weird thing. Like a lot of weird things have happened in this backyard that people are like, can I use this? <laughs> like, yeah, well, okay, so you gotta protect yourself though. So if you are signing a deal with one of these viral companies, you gotta yeah. make sure you're getting 60%. They'll try to get you for 10%. Yeah. You gotta oh, make that's wow. what I'm talking about though. It's like how much and how far, I think for like the average like person that's um, trying to get more involved with roller skating, trying to get more followers that I think that they need to consider. It's like, it's totally, fine if that's something you aspire to but like what is the limit of like how much you're willing to sell yourself and yeah. let that piece of you like be well, marketable so i think of it as like it's why wouldn't we want yeah yeah so like but also at the same time why shouldn't roller skating be represented on these platforms you know oh like, you're absolutely right it, it yeah so, it I, mean, I, I understand if somebody's like zero interest don't want to make money don't want to put myself out there i totally respect that but at the same time, yeah. I'm like, yo, if you got a rag clip and it's going viral, don't let TikTok make all that money. Like, sell yeah. your clip yourself. You own that, you know? And don't don't let anybody... Anyways, I have, so, I have feelings about this. I, <laughs> you know, I think, I really wanna... I think that a lot of people need to know that because yeah. if not, they're just willing to give it away. And, and I, I think, think there's, I think it's the matter. elephant in the room, if I'm being honest. Like, there's a lot of people that think about it and a lot of people that... Um, feel maybe like I did and feel <laughs> yeah. the pressure of oh, like, okay. of holding like this, hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, like I said, like maybe like me, like where they feel like this pressure, um, whatever it may be. But um, I forgot where I was going with that because I got distracted by a kid. <laughs> well, yeah, even TikTok, <laughs> no, no. yeah. All right, go ahead. I feel oh, like I was gonna say even TikTok. I feel like um, we're talking about like monetizing and stuff like that. TikTok, like the thing that gets monetized, because I have a friend who personally is like famous on TikTok right now. Like he gets paid to like live in a house with other TikTokers. He like signs yeah. deals, stuff like that. On TikTok, it's more like uh, you have a hype house and stuff like that. So I'm interested to see where like roller skating goes. If you can even be like checkmarked yeah. on there, roller skating and stuff like that. Because it seems like people who make funny videos are where TikTok is at versus, like, roller skating. Yeah. I mean, as far as I've really seen the popular stuff has only yeah. been, like, clips. Yeah. It's not, like, funny yeah. stuff. But I think my concern is just, like, for, for me personally, is, like, I just don't want to lose myself to that. Like, yeah. I want I want to make money off of what I do because I love to do it. And I want to be able to afford to do more of it and, like, yeah. know that I can put more free time into it. But at the same yeah. time, I don't want to start to hate it because I have to be concerned about how much money I'm making. Totally. And like, yeah. it's, it's interesting. like the yeah. amount it's of like... art that I do now that my profession is art is this much art. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, you know, like, yeah. And I think that that definitely has a lot to do with it is like finding a balance. And, and I think that that's for everyone. And it depends on like what you're doing. Um, and what your goals are because I, like I, I think with anyone and their presence or looking at other people's presence I think the reality and at the end of the day I think that there's two things that should be like put into place one is like all right what are your goals and what do you want out of this situation and number two what it like you can't necessarily assume what one person's goals are 
based off of your own experiences because I mean, at the end of the day, you're not them. And so the, their list of goals are inherently different than yours um, yeah. on any given day. So, and I think like, just like passing no judgment of like how people try to do things. And I have to yeah. tell myself this too all the time because I've definitely had past judgments before. And now like looking at it now after having like legitimately this week of like the hell am I thinking about, excuse me. But like, I'm like, oh, okay. Like, no, it, it makes sense now. Like everybody's got their own, you know, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. There's um, this big thing but about, like, I want about this time being like the time to be creative and like to use this, all this downtime to consider those oh, things God. and consider like <laughs> what you can do to like, no, without the yeah. additional pressure, but just like you have yeah. <laughs> nothing but time and freedom yep. to work on things like this if you want to. Right. And that can be in a lot of different and it, aspects. Yeah. So. And it can be just up here. At least that was what it has been for me. Like, yeah, I had like some stuff yeah. that I had to get done for work, but like, there's a lot of just like <laughs> mental <Yeah>. cleansing, <laughs> a lot of mental cleansing and a lot of uh, adventure time. But uh, <laughs> yeah, um, nothing wrong with it. Here's I have a question. So, Indy, I have your website up, and I want so if a person was to come into your shop and like ask you about starting the skate in the skate park, and uh, where scared. would you I like? I mean, collection in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I mean, like, is this, this where collection? you? Yeah, like, so everything in this collection, you'd be like, yeah, let's do this. Well, create your own skate for 130, is that it? Seriously? I mean, you have to buy your shoes, I think. Is that it? Oh my God, I would um, do that in a heartbeat. I think so, I don't know, I haven't built it. I haven't, this is uh, this is Pigeon and our team, uh, Pigeon and Atomic, Atomic uh, built this, but um, I, think it, I think it goes up as soon as you start adding, like. Is that a break on stuff. the back? I don't know. Yeah, add, crazy. <laughs> Yeah, oh my god, that's a thing. What? That's a thing, y'all. Oh, that's a thing. Sure. I mean, I know, so it's recently, I know it's a thing, but oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so when we started Planet Roller Skate, we were really big on catering to beginners and not offering too many options that it became overwhelming. Mm. But as this continued, like we couldn't deny people that wanted, yeah. you know, like a van skate or something. So we've um and even still, like, we're still focusing on people that are just trying to, like, stand up and roll forward. But Skate Park mm -hmm. has inevitably become, like, a major thing people want to know about. So we've definitely been working more towards um, getting all that information out there mm -hmm. for everybody and, and supplying those products. But, yeah, like, the van skate is something we still get major questions about. And it wasn't really something we had on the site until a couple months ago, I think. Oh, um, interesting. Yeah, we were like, you know, oh. go to the local shop, go to, like, it's just, it's really hard to find somebody that can consistently build the skates. Um, but now we have yeah. Nick the Medic on it. And yeah. so he's, uh, he's, even though he's working full time as a medic, you know, he still makes the time to build our That's skates, crazy. which is rad. Yeah. Dude, I right? see it like when, when a person asks, so here's how like the conversation usually goes, right? Because first of all, like, why I was so surprised of like, wow, 130 is like, I'll be skating with the uh, with my my crew in New York, and a lot of them, well, most of them, all of them, except my CIB crew, are rollerbladers. And they're like, okay, so, like, tell me about your setup. And I'm like, okay, like, in total, it's, like, probably around, like, $600. And they're like, whoa, you know, like, they, like, panic. And I'm like, hold on, hold on. I mean, it's, like, this much for this thing, this much for this thing. Right. And... So they, they're like, oh my God, but like the top of the line, well, like, you know, the top bar of what I would pay for a pair of rollerblades is like 350. So why, like, dang, that's a lot of money they're thinking. And so, you know, when they're interested, I guess a lot of the conversations I have personally is like, all right, I want a pair of skates that I can go to the skate park and I can do slides, I can do grinds, and it's just ready to go. And like the one that always comes to mind is the Kaya, especially the Kaya Karma, especially because of this. If it is, oh, sorry. If it yeah, is a rollerblader. That comes from Power Slide, which is the inline right, company. So inline like company. Inliners, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, I guess that's like a, a moderately biased view of it, considering that, like I said, a lot of people that have the questions about it are rollerbladers. But I'm like, if, I mean, there's really no better set, like, set up for at least them like that block for them yeah 
It's a good question. I mean, so many people, it's, it's really um, difficult to tell people when they come into quad skating that it's like, right. okay, you need to get the moxie jack boot and the reactor neoplate and the roller bones <laughs> wheels and the chicken right. bowl slider block. And also, by the way, the slider thing is a retrofit that, so it's um, like, the, when it comes to the park skate, I kind of am like, maybe I should like help manufacture new products. And then the idea of it, I'm just like, no, thank God, all of these other companies <laughs> and all of these other people are willing to do it because I, yeah. like, the, yeah. there's a lot of, there's a lot of problems that could be solved in the design of roller skates, especially how we're using them now. And, you know, Toto Gali has his plate that he built. That yeah. The, are those for sale? I'm going to pull those up. Or do you know? So Toto Gali made his design for, so he built pretty much a plate with a grind block. Yes. And it's amazing. It looks dope. Yeah. So um, a few people, like they were a bunch, like Enzo used them for a long time. I can't remember who else, but he put these designs open source online. So you can go have them 3D printed anywhere for I'm... just the cost of the print. Like he oh, literally wow. released his design to the public. Like Wait, he I didn't. Wanna... Super cool. I didn't realize he did that. Like this yeah, is his, yeah. I know this is his for sure. Like I know that those are his trucks because he, it's, oh, I think it's yeah. this. Yeah. There it is. That's it, yeah, this that's is it, way. yeah. I mean. So it doesn't have a toe stop and he has one with a toe stop too. Yep, he does. And I, I didn't know that it could be 3D printed. You just blew my yeah, so mind. I don't know if he like has that product online to buy somewhere or if he only has the design to print because I mean, people have that so obviously he's built some you know yeah because i've been waiting for these i'm like yo <laughs> don't wait I around it this. ain't happening so total golly actually this. makes his living by filming surgeries for medical students so, so cool he, he lives in switzerland and he goes like into surgery and like does like yeah. detailed filming oh. And then makes these like educational videos, which is so cool. But yeah, what? like definitely, um, this is like his his passion project. It's such a cool passion project, and I absolutely think it's super rad that he has an open source file out there. I think that that's definitely something that the community needs. Um, I just think you know everyone still needs more access to three D printers, but like that's another <laughs> story. Right. Yeah, let um, me just call up my friend with the three D yeah. printer. You know, <laughs> Exactly. But it's so dope. And I like, I just, I guess that's really what I think is so interesting about any type of skating, whether it's skateboards, whether it's rollerblades, whether it's a scooter, whether it's a bike, whether it's anything, we're always constantly in this like form of like transition and this form of experimentation, whether it's experimentation skating style, or if it's experimentation with, um, with like what a person is wearing or using to skate. In fact, um, gosh, what are, what the heck? Free skates. I saw this the other day and I was like, what the heck? Oh yeah, free skates. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, well, hold on. Oh, okay, this is great. Yeah, a my tiny... friend actually, I could tell you someone that I know personally in San Diego that skates those and skates them at the park. It's crazy. Yes. Uh, um, let me and, and I love this commercial that was happening just now. <laughs> I know. Yeah, right. Look at this. I'll give you his Instagram. Yeah, please do. Hold on. The I'll style when of I'm ready. skating makes me think of um, the what are they called? The like stick with like the two pedals and like yes, I forget what they're called. Yep. But those things are Kick, nuts. kickers or I don't know. Something. I'm making yeah. it up. Those things are always interesting when they show up at the skate park because I'm just like, <laughs> I want to see what you can do, but I'm also very concerned about what's going to happen <laughs> in the next year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a really it good is. video. Oh, uh, okay. Let me try to find the video I'm talking about because he, like, oh, so good. So good. I'll pull him up. Wait. Hold on. I mean, I like the fact that you could run out of this if you need to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, right. Crazy. It's fascinating. I mean, I'm just, but like, anyway, like the way that like, uh, like everything's going, it's just like so interesting. Yeah, you should pull up the video. It's like the third one on the left. You can see like coping on his Instagram. Okay. That one's really good. Please hold. I mean, Please I'm just so impressed by this child's balance in general. <laughs> Like their core must be intense, like right. <laughs> and then yeah, he like so oh, crazy. Wow. You can skate vert with these two, pretty much. Oh, that sounds scary. this one. 
Um, this one, one more down on the left. This one. Yeah. And then there's another one. But this is just like a... Oh, my gosh. And that's a really high ramp, too. Wow. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> it's so cool. Like, any... You know, it's, it's just it's just fascinating how, honestly, as a whole, how important, really, like, the, the, the sensory of, like, rolling in whatever fashion it may be is in terms of, like, being human. Wow, I'm getting really transcendent. Anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so. There's another yeah, one. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah. I was just going to show you more. Because no, I... Um, cause I I know him personally and I've stalked his Instagram because it's great. Um, if you go down a little bit, um, scrolling. it's going to be a couple swipes. This one? No, keep going, but you can watch that one too. <laughs> Sorry, I want to see this one. <laughs> Look at this. You know, it reminds me of surf skating a lot, me? like the side stance. It, even though they're like, yeah, forward, it reminds me a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Especially no, that, that was amazing move to like yeah. pivot, that's what you have to do. Like at least on the track, I'm not sure about like in a bowl, but totally, it's very similar. Okay. Oh my gosh. Um, almost there. It was just like a bigger bowl. I mean, all of them are good. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I can't find it. You're almost there. It's down a ways. Oh, you like really got it. <laughs> <laughs> We're is there. it this We're, one? Yeah, that is it one. This one? Okay. You'll have to tell him we I mean, for real uh, insta stalked him on our. Yeah, we definitely <laughs> insta stalked him on, on our live. Oh my what God. What the heck? Uh -uh. Yeah. That's crazy no. town. Is that Santa Cruz? No, it's no. San Diego. That, oh, that's that the van? Vista? That's my home park. Yeah. Oh, uh, just Holly kidding. Holly. That's so dope. That's your home park? Yes. My home park is a skate plaza. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, San Diego has me. a lot of really good Whatever, parks, you live in the most, like, in New York City, which is, like, skate, you know. No, I know. I shouldn't complain. Wonderland. It's just, like, it's just, like, I, it takes me um, an hour by, an hour by train to get to Chelsea Piers, which is the biggest yeah. bowl. Um, and then Owl's Head is honestly my favorite. It has a spine and everything, but that's really hard to get to. The easiest way for me to get to it is by a ferry. So that's like an visit you so hour I can and a half. Skate Owl's Head with you. Yes. Because we always talk I, about going when I visit Philly, but we never actually make it because it's like my schedule's different than my friends live uh, in Philly. So right. So it's sorry, my trip. life scheduling is so hard. But I this um soon. Soon, I have like literally an established schedule, but I'm not going to be saying anything about it more than just this right now. Uh, but we have a schedule that we will be posting eventually of these bi monthly skate sessions that are going to be nice. skate sessions. So I'm really hyped about them. I already have like spots mapped, and like that's what's so much fun about New York is honestly nice. the street, and yeah, it's so cool and i look forward to making videos of it um with all of the humans but <laughs> um yeah i guess that's why i love street fighters so much because i'm like that's like that's so um just the style of like where i'm at you know where like like i want to hear more about like your backyard is literally famous. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, I with everything going on, I am trying to skate more. And I talked to Boom a little bit about this before everybody joined on the chat. Where because so many people can't go skate right now, I have, like they said, literally a skate. You can bring it up, but I'm just saying I can't guarantee what's on that page right now. <laughs> like, um, oh yeah. yeah. Um, but it's. I, I don't like to skate at home very much because I enjoy traveling and skating very different weird spots. So hey, look, it's that, the dude leisure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm trying to make myself create more stuff at the house just so I can take advantage of my situation and show people that, you know, even though people are trapped inside, like there are going to be things that happen afterwards and that, you know, I know everyone's just trying to keep busy, but for me, it's like, I know I look, forward to seeing people's clips. So if I can do that for wow. somebody else, I want to do it. That's so. your backyard? Yes, yes that's our backyard. I, I did not realize. Yes. yes. 
This was way before no. me and Pat met, but um, we have stuff in the front yard now too. It's not as much. And where's but it's drama? Totally where's spot. drama? Why I don't. Drama drama's really? been gone for a minute. My boyfriend oh, no. is the guy with the red hair, yeah, with the giant beard. Yeah, that's his name's Pat. <laughs> Pat. Yeah. <laughs> Such a classic name. Oh, watching this video makes me miss y'all. It's so yeah. fun being out there. <laughs> yeah, I've been really looking forward to We're doing concrete at our local DIY spot on Tuesday. And I feel like those concrete days are like kind of what's getting me through because we're not being around people in general otherwise. So getting to just be yeah. outside around people like this, not at that extent, but like just people that are so hyped on everything. Like I was telling Boom that we were just going for a ride around the city just to get out of the house a little bit without being around people. And all the street skaters have taken over downtown Richmond and are all so That's hyped so, yeah. that they can skate right now. Like it just, I know people are like trying to be responsible, but it is really makes me happy just to like see people like outside, like trying to like live their lives and make the best of a situation. But it's like yeah. a very tricky thing right now. But so this was way before we met, but, um, they had uh, Red Bull as a sponsor for our backyard. And so they had this thing on I'm sorry, that's like great. Yeah. Um, Your backyard yeah. is sponsored. I die. So Red Bull helped pay for a lot of the concrete in the backyard. And they had oh, this non-test. And then they gave like a certain chunk of money, like a big check to like the guy that won or like was kind of voted on. And this big everybody skating at the last minute thing is called a Texas death match where they have everybody yeah. go and do as much as they can. <laughs> but um, yeah. and I've met most of these guys now too. And they're all super nice. Like I don't, I like to like pick on them and talk about like the Southern gentlemen of skateboarding, but like <laughs> they're all very like polite and like rip. And just, I love seeing them skate. Like I, I love going to sessions with them because it makes me like get fired up. It makes me try to like mimic some of the things they do, but like on my quads and yeah, I don't know. This makes we me have... want to go back to Texas so hard. Like yeah. my friends have a ramp like this. I mean, not with a pool <laughs> or a fire. Oh, just kidding. They do have fire volcanoes. But like my friends have a ramp like this in their backyard. And I'm just like, this is what can happen when you can, you know, afford yeah. having space. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he like, bought you know, the house space in general. Um, he bought the house and it just was a giant plot of land in yeah. like a rougher neighborhood in Richmond. And then just from there, like, they built the pool first and then it just kind of kept growing and building. And we keep saying that we're done, but like, you know, like we'll see what happens. <laughs> next. But yeah, that video is super fun. <laughs> and so drama fun. mama, you have your own skating mm -hmm. set up, which is, I'm trying to see, is this your new, yeah. is that new? I don't I think don't that's. That I do want to kind of watch this video though. I love But yeah, I want to go help you build a bowl at your house drama. I know. Oh my gosh, yeah, that would be oh so God, dope. Room for it. I would do so many road so trips so to Texas so if I could stop at your bowl. I mean, I already do. Could you, oh, you guys? Could you imagine if it was like a terracotta bowl? Oh, that'd be cool. And it was literally called the terracotta bowl. <laughs> Yeah. you have like to do it, it now it. yeah that would be famous like that that's how do you not want to skate <laughs> oh my god that's so cool that'd be such a dope looking bull i'm just saying anyway so but you have you built these ramps like tell me i mean i know that this is before you like repainted them and everything but like yeah. tell me about that process um, it was fun. I always have to, because I don't have gator skin or masonite or I've been using masonite. I don't have, um, the weatherproof. So every so often I have to remove the masonite and put, um, new masonite on. And it's always just fun to paint it. Um, I know when Indy came down the first time, Indy's been to the house a few times. Um, it was when I was having my four year I can't even remember what year it was maybe six years breast cancer free and um we did a oh my god that's so dope four foot so then we added on to it um and we added on after I was trying to do like um a fakey front flip and I hit my head on the coping and so my husband said I could <laughs> he was like you can't try that trick until we build a higher so we built higher um, and then 
today we just actually built um well last night we built a mini ramp in my room <laughs> with some like, go go can you go over and, with some and show wood. us or <laughs> will, job. or will you lose reception can you not hear me i no i'm I can sorry you. can you can you show us oh, okay yeah yeah let me walk back there so i've been like okay. around the house trying to figure out where's the best place to meet I feel so bad. I'm like, oh, I keep losing. Okay. So this started out. And so last night we built it. And then I didn't like the um, the transition on it. So we deconstructed the whole thing and cut six inches. Um, let me turn on this light. We cut six inches down. And because um, it was just shooting me straight up. And it was horrible, so uh, I'm plug this light in. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so dope. And didn't you like? Didn't you yeah. like skate some crazy places in Greece where yeah, they had right. like their their entire like? That's gonna be your house, isn't it? It's gonna just be a whole bunch of ramps. Oh my gosh. So when we went to Greece, the, the, okay, so this guy Nikos has at his villa um, a bowl and it is amazing to skate. Um, and then he also built what is called gratitude trails, which is like at the highest part of this island of Greece on, and I think it's Andrew Andros Island. Um, and he makes you hike it first. And it's like an hour hike, like right up, like straight up and down. Mm -hmm. And by the time you get there, he then tells you, oh, next time you can drive up. But. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> like he put a lot of work into that. So, and he had to get his supplies up um, that, you know, up that way. So. It, it does the gratitude trails is amazing and it, i've never ridden um a surface though of what he used so it was more like stucco um so it is a terracotta bowl wood. <laughs> it was totally different um stucco is much cheaper than pottery, so that oh was it was actual stucco yeah it was like stucco but not like stucco like um it was smooth right smooth but yeah so it was it was a very amazing uh experience and then when we went to um the main mainland in greece we went to the blade house and they had a i mean that's kind of where matt got the idea to take our reclaimed wood and build that last night because we don't have anything else to do <laughs> you don't have um, anything so so that was um the blade house was really cool they have stuff on top of the roof of um, his house and then inside he has a mini i think it's like eight eight foot and then like another four foot with like a gap in it so it was a it was a pretty fun time um that's so amazing and i like this, I oh mean, my god being out in the country um i can skate all night um i like skating at night more than yeah who's who what's everyone's preference because i'm i'm sort of mixture i've kind of um i used to really love skating at night and now i'm kind of leaning towards daytime but maybe it's just because the weather's been cold here what what what's everyone's preference we, we shut it off actually when it gets dark here no matter what time it is just to be respectful of our neighbors but I really miss being outside street skating because I used to live in like a much smaller town where I could literally walk out my front door and just skate the entire town within like a 30 minutes. Um, yeah. So I, I didn't enjoy like park skating more at night, but I do just miss that feel and have been trying to think of a way to get out and go do some outdoor skating next week or so just to like, it's just, it just feels different, you know, when it's warm. Um, it's something very like, into, I don't know, just like not magical. It seems like corny to say, but just it feels very different. Um, but I, I don't know. I prefer skating during the day, I guess, as long as there's no mosquitoes out, because that's honestly like the bane of my existence around here. So. 
<laughs> What's your preference, Indy? Uh, I am nocturnal by nature, I feel like. Like, I don't... <laughs> I wake up at 11 every day. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's just like it's embarrassing a little bit. No, like, it's all the great. girls are at the office at like nine or ten, and I'm like coming in at noon. Like, hey, y'all! Like, I, I'm like I want to be there earlier. I do, but I just I freaking can't, y'all. But um, I really I really enjoy skating. And I, honestly, when it comes to like parks and stuff, recently. So when I first started skating parks, I was all hyped and I had something to prove, and I was about like showing up and showing these dudes that you could do this on roller skates and. Um, like more recently, even before I got injured, I was kind of like losing that motivation to prove people wrong at the skate park. And I more wanted like a private place where like nobody's watching me. And that's still kind of something I'm coming back to is like, so now um, my favorite time at the skate park is whenever nobody's there, which is usually earlier. But oh, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I really love a good session and I'm really working back to like, but you know, you go to like, I guess the parks are different here in SoCal, where it's like, if you go to Venice Beach, you're there to perform for people, you know, like, there's literally a crowd standing around watching you. And it's not like that all the time at skate parks, but I definitely am. I like the night, but you know, if you go in the evening at the skate park here, it's like, high pressure sesh. Not always. Yeah. I'm kind of, it's more in my head, probably, but I just, more recently, I'm like, yeah, I just want to go and like, nobody's watching me, nobody's taking video of me, I just want to cruise around and like, Lucky. Kiana, so, what's your preference? Um, let me know if my audio is being weird. Um, because oh, I'm we can't hear you. Audio. I, I can. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Selective. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe it's the cup that my iPad is on. Um, <laughs> so. In the home parks that I have, the mornings are normally, like, old do sesh. So it's, like, a lot of older people <laughs> who are coming for a chill session. And in the evening, it's a lot, like, not that there aren't old older people in the evening, but it's more <laughs> high pressure. So, like, I like going in the morning, but the vibe doesn't quite go well with the skate session that I want. I like the morning because there's not that oh. many people. But then I'm, like, the one over there hitting hard stuff and, like, trying to go hard because I have the energy right then and there whereas like in the evening I'm getting off of work so I normally don't have the energy to go skate yeah. but like Indy said too my favorite time to go normally is like 6 a.m. when no one's at the skate park and I can just do it. <laughs> that sounds terrible <laughs> it's actually great okay I can't I can't hear Kiana I can only hear reactions can somebody share oh. <laughs> They were, um, they were just talking about going at 6 a.m. And I was like, that sounds awful. Oh, yeah, that does. <laughs> but I bet it's empty, huh? Hello? I can still hear you. I can you. still I hear you. Yeah. I just, my iPad's at like 6%. So I might have yeah. to switch to my I was, phone. I was thinking we should probably wrap things up because we're, we're at two hours. Nice. <laughs> and I was like. I literally told all of you guys and just like showing our viewers because we still have people that are still hanging out with us. Um, I told them thanks for that. Around. Yeah, thanks for sticking around with us. I told them, you know, loosely an hour. Well, is but there like anything, very loose. Is there anything I was we fully really want to show? Like a Joe Rogan or a Jump Street style to go on for a minute, so. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, there's st still a lot of stuff that I would love to show, but like, why don't we do yeah, a part more, two? Th that's what yeah. I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. Could if see everyone else staying. wants to do it or join us or. Yeah. We know. have room for one. Room for <laughs> one. one more. I could figure out. <laughs> internet. <laughs> like what if we did like guest hosts or something like every that's, yeah. 30 minutes, like we were just talking about Jaquan. And, oh, that's like, dope. Mad or Matt yeah. All those people. Why don't we just like like people just like circulating in? Yeah, I think that that's super dope. That's a great idea. <laughs> yes, yeah. strongly yeah. approved. I guess yes, that I have nothing to happen. Time, so yes. yeah, we we, could, we have time. <laughs> we could all like pick someone. I mean, maybe it'd have to be less than thirty minutes. But if we had like. I, I don't know. I'm just trying to think that way we all I like that. have someone to pull in, but. <sighs> so <laughs> folks that are still watching, clearly this is going to happen again. Um, it's been so fun. Also, 
I'm sorry about the kinks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I knew that there were going to be kinks. I knew it was going to happen. Um, I still have to assess exactly why it happened, but whatever. Uh, you know, it's technology and things happen um, all the time and we do the best that we can do. Um, and I appreciate it that listened. I wasn't able to read all the comments, but I'm just really excited for everyone to have an opportunity to hang out for some more videos. And like, I legitimately have like so many tabs open of videos. <laughs> so there's a lot more that I want to show and that you all want to show and that I want to hear from you guys and hear from everyone else. So um, we'll definitely do this again, but it's time for me to go to bed because I have to teach tomorrow morning. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <good idea. laughs> and I'm on the East Coast, you guys. So like, like, okay, Grandma okay, Boom we... needs to go to sleep. <laughs> can, can we end with a, okay, I know this is cheesy. It's probably too viral. The Cardi B coronavirus remix oh my oh, god, god. Oh, no <laughs> yes it's yes. good it's good i, I sent you, it I sent you the link. It is good. it's so good hold it's on. so good i i thought i sent you the link maybe i didn't <laughs> wait hold on <laughs> no I, troy it. sent it to me my boyfriend troy sent it the i know when you're gonna send it to me and oh, it has me in. So if I lose, LA, oh, sorry. God. I'm doing this next time. Okay. What? Okay. Is that cute? I have it. I somebody have else it. named Elizabeth Perez. <laughs> oh, <somebody> oh. <laughs> but also okay. hi. <laughs> but also hi. Um, <laughs> Chrome tab. And okay. And oh, shoot. Tell oh, me gosh. if you can hear the audio. Can you? No. You can't no. hear it? No, okay. no audio. Wait, oh, wait, wait. Okay, wow. please hold. <laughs> no, it's just how I was sharing it. No. <laughs> no, I sent you one that's better. It's all what? good, though. You sent me one that's better? Maybe not. Jeez. I don't know. Okay. Share audio. And this. Okay. And then. We have a, da we have a dance party going out. Can you hear it? Is real. Is real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't, but it's okay. <laughs> it's real, it's real, it's real, it's real. I'm so sad, I can't hear it. Oh, you can't, yeah, I can't hear it. I can't hear it, but I'm gonna dance anyways. Oh, okay. Oh, no. I, I can still hear it. <laughs> I'm there is a whole music video with it. Oh, I see yes. the wrong link. I see the wrong link. It's okay. It's fine. We try. <laughs> Coronavirus. <laughs> Shit is real. I yeah. Troy sent me that like a day or two ago, and like it made my morning. So and thank you for making my That's evening. The, now, Indy. This is song that needs to be played at every skate session. That's happening. <laughs> oh my gosh. We should all do it edits with the song. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, thanks, Boom. Yes. Yeah. Thank you guys for all showing up. Thanks for everyone who's chimed in and watched uh, a struggle or also talk about all things skate related. Um, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was super fun. Yeah. Cool. All right. So we're going to. Uh, go for now and we'll all talk soon. We'll obviously post. Um, in the event page, just so those of you that are a part of it can see when the next upcoming date, once that's decided. Um, and then, you know, we'll share all that information um, as it comes. And hopefully the, the following link won't be so terrible this time. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks, everybody. Bye. Have a great day, Bye. Yeah, you guys have a great evening.